Well, good evening, everybody, and thanks for tuning in here at the REMAX Center, home of the St. John's Curling Club, for the tiebreaker action for the 2024 Men's Provincial Championship. I'm Jeff Cunningham, along with uh, Glenn Goss. We're covering tonight's game and handling the switching and all our technical stuff is Emily Neary. And uh, this is, as I said, a tiebreaker game, and uh, the winner will uh, advance to the uh, semifinal. So, Glenn, um, glad you have you on board here, boy. What do you think of tonight's game? Yeah, no, I'm happy to be here, too, with you, Jeff. It's wonderful. And uh, with Emily, it's... This is, it's an interesting situation. Both of these teams have had a good round robin, but they've had one or two games where they weren't themselves, shall we say. They, uh, it's not like they got on a bit of a roll. So this could be a real roller coaster kind of game. They're both really good teams, I got to say. So yeah. I expect, I expect uh, both teams to get some rocks in play. Now, if one of the both very good hitters too, Jeff. So if one gets ahead by two or three points halfway through the game, I wouldn't be surprised to see a bunch of run backs and peels and that sort of thing, but they're very good teams. And, um, I expect to get some, well, as you can see right now, we're getting action right off the bat. And I, I think you might want to explain why we're, we have an egg shaped <laughs> rings there in front of us, as opposed to oval. Or it is oval as opposed to round. Yeah, we're we're on an offset position with our cameras here tonight, so the uh, you know we don't have a, a direct overhead shot of the head. So bear with us, and you guys will sometimes guess just like we are as to who shot, but we'll do our best. But yeah, Glenn, open up opening up here. Uh, you know Simmons put the uh, center guard up there right off the get go, so uh, he means business. He does. He does, yeah. and. And you know you'd like to. Uh, it's it's a late draw. You'd like to uh, you'd like to get some uh, get an advantage while the ice is still good. And and you never know. It could break down later in the later in the evening. So he's trying to to get an advantage if he can. He didn't. Ha he doesn't have last rock. So he's trying to at at, at least I think force uh, Nathan Young to to one here and get Hammer back in the second. That's what he's trying to do, I believe. Now if he's lucky enough to steal one, then so be it. Yeah, not a bad shot there by Stephen Trickett. And you can see what uh, you can see. Nathan realizes what it is that uh, Andrew is doing here, trying to force. So he's going to try to open up the front, and he's probably going to play for blank from here on in if he can get it. Ironically enough, it's only after lead rocks, uh, first rock of the second, and he's probably going to play for a blank. And Jake, uh, Jeff, I've got to say, um, Nicholas Codner, who just threw that, he plays on a team that I'm working with, uh, Simon Perry. Now, Simon is over in Korea. God love him. He and Kaylee Locke are over in Korea representing Canada at the, uh, at the uh, Youth Olympics Mixed Doubles Curling. They won their first game today. I haven't gotten a report on their second one, but uh, that's got to be quite a thrill for them. But Nicholas is the third shooter on the team on team Simon Perry who's heading off to the under 18 nationals uh, next week and I gotta say he's 120 pounds soaking wet Jeff and he can throw it hurt than anybody I know yeah it's, it's amazing yeah talented young player very very good player all right so they uh, continue to put up the center guards I think uh, Nathan might have a glimpse of that rock through the port, uh, Glenn, between the two guards. Yeah, and I think now with with the corner guard that's left up there, Jeff, I think Nathan is probably figuring maybe the blank is not on anymore. Mm. Might have to try to score two. Try to score two. Worst case scenario, score one. So this is Nicholas's outturn, outturn tap back. I think he's just trying to take the freeze off. I think Jeff. Yes. Looks like he's through the port pretty good. Yeah. Now we have to wait uh, to jiggle things around. Oh, yeah, nice. Real good. Very nice shot. Real good. 
Yeah, so Nicholas is like 15, 16 years old. He's 17. 17. He's 17 okay. years old, yeah. Um, and uh, 17, you're going on, going on 40, I think. Yeah, played in the Briar last year and was the youngest player, was he not? In history, I think, to yeah. play in the Briar at 15 a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. a couple of years ago, that's right. A couple right. of years was, ago, yeah. He was fifth player for Nathan Young. And Jeff, I got to tell you, he's he's such a, he's 17 years old. He's got the knowledge of the game of a, somebody who's been at it for a long, long time. He's a wonderful player, and he demands a lot of himself, which which I like. Yeah. You know, he's not complacent. He demands a lot of himself, and if he doesn't make what he wants to make, you'll you'll see it. He wears his heart on his sleeve, and I love it. And uh, But he is a wonderful player. Just rub that card. I don't think he quite had the weight there either for that chocolate. I think he, he, he's, he yeah. was trying to come in and freeze on top of the yellow. I right? think so. Yeah. And to take that freeze off. Yeah. But uh, like they're making that hole look like it's four feet wide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty small now. It's not, it is. It, I don't think you can yeah. get, well, roll it up on its side, I suppose you get through. Yeah. But, uh, so right now it's a tough deuce for Nathan Young who has hammer. And that's what Andrew's trying yeah. to do. He's satisfied to force him to one. Force Andrew's one. trying to figure out how to get out of this and either get a blank or get two. And that's the cat and mouse part mm -hmm. of it. I think this is a double run back. I do believe, Jeff. And, and again, Nathan is just saying, you know, the deuce doesn't look good for us here. Well, he's he's contemplating it now. He's changed his mind. To I don't know what. Is he just taking this the 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 short blue guard off, Jeff? Is that what I he's doing? He might I'm, be, and maybe trying to roll into the house. Is that possible? And and, and that may be. It, yeah. yeah, it's um, it's tough to to tell our I mean, vantage he's, point. He's throwing a bit of weight, Glenn. Yeah, so he's not likely going to roll in. No, no, he must be just clearing the front. He's taking it off. Yeah. No, well done. Now, these guys can throw the heat too. All of them. Well, I think that's a prerequisite these days in curling. No if you question. can't throw seven, six and a half, seven second hits, uh, peels. Absolutely. I you're not going to be out there long. We were talking, uh, we were speaking yesterday, watching the game, and Emily was doing our, our tech work here, and she plays with us in the, she fills in with us in the in the major league at, um, well, I was going to say fills in, but she's probably played more major league games than either yeah. one of us. <laughs> uh, but uh, we were talking about, <laughs> I'm not, like I'm, if we get a paycheck out of it, she's going to get the most. She's money. going to get the most money, absolutely. <laughs> and but I'm like I'm I'm we're playing a game, playing an end where I'm saying, well, let's throw peel. And when I let it go, she's she's calling out to the guy in the head. She says, "Control." I'm going, "What? <laughs> oh, that's, that's as hard as I can throw it." <laughs> anyway, nice throw there for you, Colin. Breeze to the top. This is interesting. This is mm. this could get messy. Well, it's already messy. Yeah. I guess he's playing the. Uh, I think he's pick on that again. Yeah, I think he's yeah. playing maybe like a like a board weight type of thing and roll behind the corner. I think is what he's trying to do. That's my guess. Mm. Yeah, because I think the blue will go through the house. Uh, the blue that's on top of the button right. will go through the house or hitting the back yellow. I think that's, yeah, and that's what they're playing, I think. It's a softer weight, more of a control yes. type of thing. Yeah, now he's probably trying that role that we were talking about. Yeah, agreed. He'd like to keep a shooter in the in the rings if he could. Yeah. Which he's done, I think. Now, did that blue... But the blue rock that was shot didn't move far enough, I don't think. No, it's not. a still shot rock, isn't it? It is. I think so. And I tell you, there's not much of that rock showing on the, uh, the right-hand side of your screen from behind that guard. Yeah. <laughs> 
You know, it's 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 funny. You don't want to if you're Andrew Simmons, you're trying to force like you played this whole yeah. end of force. You yeah. don't want to get greedy. No, you don't want to force him to three points. You don't want to force him to a deuce <laughs> or three. Good enough. <laughs> Absolutely. You don't want to get greedy here. You've got a good situation yeah. going on. Yeah. And I know the rings are small. You're down into the, about the two and a half foot or two foot draw circle. But he's he's got um, he's got Nathan in a spot right now. We had a game like this, Jeff, yesterday. Um I, I think it was Thomas and McNeil Lambswood. And every end there was 10, 8, 9, 10 rocks in play. Oof. And it took the eighth end or ninth before anybody had scored more than one. It's just yeah. uh, messy, but. Then they just cleared everything up. Did they? No, they, they no. Peels? It was just that somebody would make one. Yeah. And okay. I'll count the other bunch that were in the rings, and you'd still only yeah. get one. It just kept going back and forth. Now, there were chances mm -hmm. for multiple points that were missed, uh, but. but Anyway, it was fun. Team Simmons is having a caucus on this now to figure out the right approach. So now they're considering raising the yellow or. It doesn't look like to me there's anything on the outturn through the port. It doesn't does it look hurt, like it. it? No. Unless, Unless that, you come off your own yellow. I don't know yeah. if you come off your own yellow either. I don't know. It's, yeah, um, like you can't raise the yellow that's on top of the forefoot on uh, on an angle. I don't think blue. But can you come off the the yellow that's? Oh, that's possible. That's there. Yeah. Can he do that? I don't know. This is a situation, Jeff, where sometimes you can't see the forest for the trees. Yeah. You know, keep it simple and stick with the strategy of the force, as you said. Right, force them to one. Force to one. And you got hammer in the second end. If you steal one here, it's more good luck than good management. Yeah. It's, you're trying to you're trying to trying to force the opponent to to his one. If you yeah. steal one, then great, it's but that's right. not yeah. the objective. So it looks like they decided to go with the guard, which was the initial call. The initial call, yeah. Mm. Oh, I think mission accomplished. Working it hard. Little jiggle off there. There you go. Yeah, that works. There's certainly no way of moving the blue rock out of the house now. Not that I can see, no. No. That'd be a heck of a lot of curl finish oh. to... To bump that blue. So I think they're looking at just freezing down to it, maybe? Well. That's one option. Or trying to find a way to ensure you got a shot for one. Yeah. Um, Sam keeps indicating the slash on the yellow onto blue on the yellow. And then I guess, does the yellow just come into the button? Is that what he's thinking? Yeah, maybe. It's a tough thing because, like, some people say, we'll no. just go up and rip yeah. off the two blue guards. But the way the rocks are staggered at the top of the eight foot, you still can't get at that Still blue can't one. get at it, no. So maybe that is the best chance if they want to get in for shot now. Probably the only chance because I don't see how you can outdraw that on the intern coming around those two two blues. Anyway, lots of time getting chewed up here. It is so. End. <laughs> Tangly. They keep doing this to have to turn the lights out before the game yeah. is over. <laughs> So I guess I think he's trying to draw to the draw to the blue. Yes, he is. Yeah, and I guess the objective there is just to leave it so that potentially they could with with Nathan's last rock give it a nudge and get rid of the blue. Yeah, and and I guess and we're assuming blue is shot rock here, right? Yes, I, I think that's uh, safe to say. That's my guess. So maybe Nathan now has changed gears and saying, "Let's force him to one." It's like losing the toss and yeah, just one. just just keep one. Make make sure it's only one. It's only one. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. This has some curling to do, Jeff. I don't know if it's going to. Yeah, finish. it's uh, slow to break there. Slow to break. 
a little harder than he'd like it to be, I think. Yeah, back four weight. But it sure didn't finish very hard, did it, Glenn? Not, not no. as, not, not like he thought it would. No. Huh? I don't know if that changes I anything. They all keep looking for the magic shot, but I'm not sure it's there. No, I don't. I, I, I think, think Andrew's a, trying to figure Andrew's out. Andrew's destined to get one, and that's it. That's what it looks like. <laughs> or that's sorry, looks like. Nathan is is destined to get one. No, Andrew. I'm sorry. Andrew. Yeah, yeah. 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 Andrew's look blue, looks like it blue, anyway. Blue is. <laughs> And it's funny, um, Andrew is trying to figure out how to guard it so they can't take ours out. And Nathan is trying to figure out how to guard it so they don't get more than one. Mm -hmm. They could look at each other and say, listen, one blue, move on to the next end. <laughs> that stagger at the top of the rings is a real problem for, for Nathan. He can't. Yeah. I don't know. I can't see any way to get at Shot Rock. Not that I can see anyway. No. I think the only no. way you can make this more difficult for yourself, your Andrew, it, Andrew, is if you if you no. throw this. Throw it in the corner. Yeah. No, he could go make it any worse. Could he not go through the port and and make contact with the yellow on the left hand side of the button? He might. But then you risk But then you risk giving up a shot for Yeah, for giving the, Nathan for the one a, a double. Right. right. Yeah. It's almost so. If you were desperate for a two, you could you could play that. But right now, at first end of the game, you're almost better off yeah. just throw it in the corner. Yeah. She also, no. Yeah. Like I said, they're both chewing up. Uh, they're chewing up time, time here, time and, and the, for no reason, end, really. Yeah. So I guess he's trying to fill in the hole here. Is that what he's doing? I, I, yeah, or cover, maybe cover up the run back that, that oh, Nathan and maybe, might try. Yeah, and I don't even know if the run back is I'm not sure it is available. either. <laughs> and I don't even think Nathan would take it on. For fear anyway, of. folks, we leave it to you at home to figure out what's going on. Yeah, and if you figure it out, give yeah, us a call. Somebody you? text us. With it. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Gorab, you're watching. I'm surprised he hasn't already complained about what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's just filling in the hole here, uh, Jeff, and taking away the raise if he can help it, if he can do both, which it looks as though he has. That's, uh, that guard is breaking a lot too. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, but, but the run back is gone. It did. It did block. It does block the yellow if that was the objective. You know, running the yellow in. All right. So he's calling the run back. It's interesting. I, he's thinking maybe blue goes back into blue goes back into blue. Yellow goes into yellow and sticks it for one. Yeah, yeah, or, or rolls in towards the button. That's yeah. what he's trying to do. Does the, the the angles don't look right from here, but. Hey, but the I don't drag, know what else he's got anyway. The drag could take it into yeah. it. If he hits it right on the nose here, this it could work. Yeah. There's not a lot of room there, though, Jeff. Yeah. And there really wasn't anything else he could try, so. And he's not exactly throwing hack weight. Look out. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, still right. that didn't hurt him. So what we figured was going to happen 10 minutes ago did, so uh, Simmons got the uh, single point and the steal. After the first four rocks, they yeah, could have they could have saved themselves them. fifteen minutes. Anyway, that's uh, first end over with. Simmons takes one nothing lead, and we'll be back in thirty seconds.
Jewer. Keith Jewer, yeah. And Keith is on the disabled list, and uh, unfortunately, and I know he'd wish he was here today. Uh, so Alex, uh, he's a senior citizen like you and I, yeah. <laughs> but boy, he's doing, uh, doing a great like job. I, but... Well, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's probably a little better than us. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's got two good knees. <laughs> yeah. He's more junior than us, but yeah. he's still a senior citizen. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have, uh, with, uh, Stephen Trickett is at second, Colin Thomas is lead. And of course, Andrew Simmons, uh, at skip. Now, uh, Alex uh, holds the broom for Andrew, even though he's, uh, He's uh, throwing lead rocks. Yeah, Alex is a wonderful player, and he has been for a long, long time. Uh, I remember doing a game down here with Rob Thomas when Alex was playing junior. Kevin Martin, I think, won it that year here in the curling club, and that's a, that's a couple of months ago. Yeah, that was... Yeah, that's a while ago. And uh, so Alex now is is playing in the senior ranks. Is that like 85? So would have been probably 85, 85? somewhere yeah. in the eighties. Yeah, I don't want to go back any further than that. That's when Kevin Martin had a full head of blonde yeah, hair. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so Alex is 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 a senior player right now, and uh, but so the reason he's Alex is a pretty smart player too, and he's he's got wonderful draw weight. So he's he's throwing lead rocks and he's holding the he's holding the broom uh, for Andrew's shots because uh, the other two guys who are twenty or thirty years younger are probably a little better sweepers. Uh, no doubt about that. I would think. So, Glenn, the same uh, setup again. Uh, Blue Rocks up front. Andrew is uh, determined to uh, set up some uh, lots of rocks in play. Yeah, I think he's trying to force the issue, and 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 why not? Um, so far, it's been in his favor, and why wouldn't you keep pushing it? Oh, that was a nice double there. Anyway, we just talked about Keith Jewry. He just came in to cheer his team on. So we got an extra resource uh, sitting alongside us, Glenn, to figure out what's going on. Yeah, I think we're going to put Keith on the hot seat a little while. Now we're going to get him in here to talk about this game. That's the reason I'm leaving. <laughs> You're not allowed to leave. We're going to put something in the door, Keith. You're not allowed to leave. Good to see you back, though, bud. So this, Jeff, this is almost a replay of the first end. It's a cat and mouse trying to get to the center first. Um, This time there's nothing in the forefoot. We had a pile of rocks in the forefoot last end. So. And this is interesting. He's playing the out turn hit. <laughs> hit and roll, I guess. On a ring that's out in the 12 foot. And Andrew's happy with this. Yeah, and poor, very important to stick around there for Nick Codner, and he did. Nice shot. None of it's buried, but at least, uh, you know, it's in play, and that's really important. He rolls out there. Uh, Simmons gets a free draw around that center guard. So it was a critical hit and stay. Now, this is a big shot for Colin Thomas. If he, if he can roll behind the blue or even roll behind the yellow, all of a sudden the rings get small again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Nathan is again going to get in, find himself in the same situation he found himself in the first end. So this is, this is a yeah, good opportunity here. Really good opportunity. They're working it pretty hard here. I don't know what that means, but we'll see. Oh, nice roll. Super shot. Here we go again. Yeah. The rings went from 12 feet to yeah. 8 inches. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Nathan looking at the options. He's thinking, well, I freeze it there. And uh, that's the plan. And I guess he touched the front guard there because he says, well, if we don't, if we, did, we we hit the guard, that's not bad either. Yeah, it's interesting. If though, you nick Jeff, the guard on the way by. It's, um, it's only the second end. Mm. Uh, they just made a real good one. My instinct is to hit the blue, and maybe your shooter bounces, caroms in off the yellow, 
Yeah, hit the front blue. Hit, hit the, the guard, front blue, yeah. and yeah. your cam's in off the yellow, and then yeah. either the blank is on or you're guaranteed to score your one. Yeah. But this is a gamble now because, now, he could he could make it. There's no question. Yeah. And if he does, then good on them. But yeah. it, the rings are pretty small for him right now. Oh, I think he just kissed that guard, yeah. I think his weight was pretty good. It just overcurled a little tiny bit. If he makes the hit and roll here now, Jeff, then you're gonna, you'll definitely see Nathan rip off the guard and mm. try to blank if he can. I think in this situation, Jeff, I might be tempted this early in the game to try to run the blue rock into the blue guard into the other blue rock and just open stuff up. Like you're you're closing a ring yeah. down on yourself. Yeah, you certainly can't. You get you can't take a chance on giving up another point or now no. as Nathan, right? And you're closing he the had, rings on yourself. He, he he was given a rough beating up this, this afternoon by uh, right by Greg Smith. So I think I need to establish a bit of confidence for their team. I, and, yeah, I think so. And get some miles under their belt before. Uh, for too long in this game. He just indicated he would like to play that angle raised, peel off, peel the guard into the other blue, but obviously there's discussion going on here, but he's gone back to it, I think. It looks like it anyway. Mm. He's going to try to run blue into blue, open it up, and so right now he's looking at a blank unless he gets a break and gets an opportunity to lie a couple. And these guys can throw the heat, Jeff, all of yeah. them. Bit of smoke coming on this for sure. There we go. This looks Ooh. like one of our hits, That's Jeff. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. Just like our peels. Uh, we did a lot of them last What are you last... smiling at? What are you laughing at, Emily? Stop we made laughing. a lot of them in, Port in <laughs> Cornerbrook last week. Yeah. <laughs> Quick update on the uh, the ladies' games. Uh, it's 3 uh, nothing for Curtis over Bolden after 2. And it's uh, three to two for Godsland over Guju after two. So the key game there is certainly uh, Curtis and Boland. Curtis is she's uh, this is her last chance here, so she needs uh, she needs a win to stay in the hunt. But with but with Boland beating her last night or yesterday afternoon, that guarantees a playoff of some sort? I yeah. think because with a 14 yeah, playoff, if there was somebody undefeated, they go away to the Scotties. Yeah. But I think now that there's yeah, no undefeated team, there's definitely a playoff. Yeah. So three teams are still in it. Yes. Three of the four. Yeah. Indian off there, I guess. He's just trying to force, Jeff, is what yeah. he's, he's... Needs to stick around, and, and he does. spun back yeah. in, yeah. He's trying to force happy Nathan with that. to his... Absolutely. Pretty tough double, so... Nathan would like to be able to keep... Maybe play the angle raise guard into the blue and keep rocks on the same side of the sheet that maintains the chance for a double you don't want the other team to split the rings on you if you can help it so if you're going to play the angle raise here you you've got to at least stay in the rings on that side of the sheet so the double is still alive so the short intern run back as we would call it yellow into blue Well, Emily has just given us a bit of a of a rundown on the ladies' situation. It's it's pretty incredible. There's four teams in this tournament for the ladies, and Emily just wrote a paragraph here. It says if this happens and that happens, if this happens and that happens. So if Curtis wins, there's a tiebreaker: Curtis versus Boland, and mm -hmm. the winner goes to the final versus Godsland. If Boland wins, Godsland plays Boland in the final. 
So it's too late to say, but now you know. There you go. So there's there's four teams in this tournament, and we've gone through the full round robin, and we still have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> Exciting. All right, open hit for Andrew Simmons now. Wants to stick around. And really, Glenn, just stick around anywhere up top there is fine? I, I think so. Uh, this is about force. Yeah. <coughs> Doesn't want to give him an easy double and a, and a blank. No. So that'll do the trick. Yeah, I doubt Nathan that's, is going to take the double on at this point. That's a force. Draw for his one. I don't even know if you can hit the top one and get one. Just draw to one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just draw for one. At this level here, you've got 11 feet to draw to. I'll be shocked if he can't hit the 11 foot. So, Jeff, for the first half hour, this is uh, this has gone the way Andrew Simmons foresaw it. Yeah, you know he uh, he stole one and forcing the one. He gets the hammer back in a tie game. Yeah, he certainly intended on forcing to play early. It looked like you know, it. Well, he put the guards like it, up yep. as opposed to drawing to the to the top of the four. And it worked out. Yep. It looks pretty good from my perspective, but I'm no front-end player, so I'm, uh, I'm going to leave it to the guys to determine. Well, they're just lightly dusting good. it, so there you go. Hands up, all good. So tie game, 1-1 one, one after 2. And we'll be back in 30 seconds or so. Well, welcome back. So this time, uh, Nathan Young says it's my turn to put a guard up front and yeah, it's uh, put I, the pressure yeah. on Simmons. So it's uh, I think yeah, so same far game plan, I guess, Glenn, for both. I think so. The first two ends, I think, have gone the way Andrew Simmons would like them to go. Um, he he didn't have the hammer. He stole one, uh, but then he also forced Nathan to to one in the second end. So he's gotten control now in a tie game. So, so far so good for Andrew Simmons. We'll see how Nathan responds. Bit of a difference. I, you know, a few of the games I did watch uh, Andrew's team and it seemed to me like the first half of a lot of games, they were okay. They weren't really great, but they poured it on at the end and they pulled a couple of games out at the end. At the so, end. you know, certainly a great start for them and that changes that, uh, that trend. You know that oh, they yeah. had with uh, well, the, you and I, you and I know what that's like. That's yeah. the way our senior team plays. Yeah, we yeah. play an eight end game, but we only play four good ones. We yeah. hope the four good ones are the last four. Good yeah, <laughs> it's fine. I'm watching this game here now, and like we've had three or four rocks in play at most. And I glance over at the ladies' game on three, where Godsland is playing 
uh, Guju, and oh my heavens! Oh my God! There must be fifteen. I think they're locks. all in play. Are they? They're all in play. I think. <laughs> yeah. So the lineup for Nathan Young, he's got uh, he's got uh, Ben Stringer at lead. Uh, Nick Codner, as we've been talking about, is is filling in at second for uh, Nathan Locke, uh, who Nathan is is uh, the brother of Kaylee Locke, Kaylee, who's that. at the the uh, Junior uh, Olympics. Yeah. So uh, I mean, that's a once in a lifetime opportunity, oh. and I can't fault Nathan for want to follow the family over to watch uh, Kaylee. Oh my! So Nick is filling in. Uh, Sam Follett, the uh, Dedicated third to Nathan Young. Great player. Uh, yeah, another great player. Great player. And uh, these guys, by the way, have a chance to, uh, I believe, have a chance to equal uh, history as a third consecutive provincial winner. Oh. Which is, uh, believe it or not, was set back in the 50s by a gentleman by the name of Bud Fisher. Really? Yeah. And I think Bud ended up uh, with five or six briars. And Bill Piercy was with him. So Many as opposed to Guju? Uh, forget Guju. Okay, that's different. That's a different. Different league. That's a different set of rule. Uh, Sorry, Brad, books. you're forgotten. <laughs> We're writing you off, my friend. That doesn't count. <laughs> you don't count yet. Work with me here. Will you work with me? <laughs> I'm trying, but I couldn't say yes and agree with you because I thought it might be wrong, but... <laughs> Brad is going, what? <laughs> <laughs> He's like 113 or yeah, 14 it was the in a row. It was the record that Bud Fisher said. It wasn't the one Guzzi. Yeah, that's it, right. He's not beating Guzzi's record. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, still a great accomplishment, I guess, so is what this, I'm trying, this would be three what I'm trying to for, spit out here. This would be three in a row for Nathan? It would, yeah. Wow, pretty cool. Yeah. Great young fellow, too. Great yeah. team, great young men. Yeah, and they know the game so well for... I keep saying they're young, but they're not young anymore. We've watched them since they're oh god, kids, yes. you know? since they were really young, yeah. yeah. And they've got Jeff Thomas, who's been working them with them now for a number of years. And as we all know, Jeff is uh, really accomplished in terms of developing not only junior players but really good world caliber players. Yeah, and really uh, dedicated to the game and, and really good at developing in. players. And uh, so he's been working with these guys for a couple of years, and it shows. <laughs> All right, so they they got a rock on the on the button and a bit of backing. Now they want to put a cap on it. Nice tight guard, eh, a little tight, but still does the job. Yeah, I don't think he's too happy that it slipped into the rings because now it it allows uh, Andrew to hit and roll into the rings himself, yeah, and exactly. you might see uh, Nathan have to bail. Yeah, yeah, because now you'll have a couple of blues in the in the rings. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. They start to pile up on you. It's a good opportunity, Jeff, for uh, for Andrew to hit and roll into the rings. You'd hate to waste this opportunity. This is close. I think he got it on. He's, uh, got it on yeah. He did. And it's Gonna force rolled Nathan away again, a little bit. Yeah. This was the ninth end. You might see Nathan play a different shot, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, you pretty well got to hit it, haven't you? Oh, you have to, and you also want to stay in, stay. You want to stay in play. You want to. Right now, he's trying to force Andrew to one. I think he's trying to hit and roll to the center. Jeff, I would think, to go back into, into a yeah, guard position, yeah. I think. Yeah, he certainly wants to stick around here on the, somewhere on the front of the house. Absolutely. Nice quiet wait, so yeah, he must be just planning to stick around. Nick Codd around it, trying to keep it straight. Oh, well done. Yeah, that's a beauty. Very well done. That's and you'll see Andrew try to hit and roll back where it was before. Yep. I 
I'm waiting to see what happened on uh, on Ice Three with uh, Godsland and uh, and uh, Haley Guju's team because they had every rock other than one in play, and I have no idea who scored. Well, it appears as though Blue scored, which is Godsland. I don't know how many they scored. We'll see. Oh, lots. It's uh, four Oops. points. Yeah, four points for Godsland, commanding seven to two lead. You get a one in this end, you'll be hitting for the cycle. Single, double, triple, and a home run. And uh, the other game, uh, blank end. So uh, Curtis is still up three zip, and Bolin has hammer. Well, with the hit and roll out by uh, Andrew Simmons' team, this allows Nathan to, uh, to make the hit and roll and split the rings and try to force, which they've done. They've made the split. Now, the double may be there, Jeff. Maybe yeah, not for you and me, like Andrew, but for these guys it might be. <laughs> Andrew indicating it's there, and I guess if the hit curls up a bit and he hits and rolls in front of the yellow, that wouldn't be bad He's either. He's happy with that too. Now you'd hate to roll out here and not make the double. Because then the force yeah. is really on. Yeah. Looks like he's pretty close in terms of line. Oh, dandy. Yeah, very good. Well Beautiful done. shot. All right, so the blank mm -hmm. is back on again. Yeah. Colin certainly brought his A game tonight. Yeah. If they keep doing this, Jeff, I think we should turn the lights out, make it interesting. Yeah. See, let, him, let him play when it's dark. Glow Get curly. some rocks and play. Cat and mouse trying to, somebody trying to get ahead. Yeah, so for Nathan Young, it's simply a hit stick somewhere on the back there. Yeah, he'd love to no, force, uh, but he's not going to take a great chance here. No likelihood that uh, Simmons is going to freeze it or anything at this stage. I wouldn't it's think. Too tight a game. Now, you want to stick around here because with that wide corner guard, you you know, oh, yeah. if you roll out, Andrew might just say, I'll see if I can sneak a deuce out of this. So you want to stay around. Pretty quiet wait. From our vantage point, the line looks pretty good, but... Some light dusting, so it must be close. Yeah, I think he's there good. There you go. Nice shot. Simple shot, but critical to make. It is, as is this one. It's You'd love to get the roll under the corner guard, but if you roll out, you'll probably see Nathan go under the corner and try to force you to one. So yeah, I you've think you've got to stay in this. You know, maybe you'd roll to the middle here. And I take, think they've rolled the to the middle, play for the blank, play, and yeah. you got the even ends Agreed. coming home for for Andrew. Yeah. Like it looks very simple, but um, a miss or a half a shot changes yeah. the strategy. Yeah, roll out here changes yeah. complete end. Changes, yeah. yeah. If Nathan, could, yeah, that's right. Well, he's on it, keeping it straight. Yeah, very good. It must be close, yeah. Very good. On the money. Now you might as well go all out for the roll. If you can make it, you force him. Yeah. If you roll out, so be it. So he's going to try to make weight. this roll, yeah. Jeff. He's he would dearly love to make this roll, but this got a curl, I think. 
Looks like a working on it to make it curl. A bit of a nose hit, maybe. Okay. Got a chance. Oh. Yeah, so that's wide open for Andrew Simmons. It is, yeah. and the, I'm sure he'll be trying to hit this and roll out of the house for a blank end. And these are, uh, from my perspective, Skip's nightmare. You play the end to blank and then you <laughs> ding it, it right on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The harder you throw it sometimes, the more yeah, yeah. squarely hit it on the nose. Absolutely. Hit a round rock square on the nose or another yeah. round rock. And Andrew can chuck it too, so I'll mm -hmm. be surprised if he doesn't make this. I think they like it. Looks pretty good. Yeah, no sense of urgency here. Yeah, nice throw. So, blank end. Andrew brings hammer back to the fourth and the even ends. And we'll be back in a moment. Well, everybody, everybody, welcome back to the Remax Center, home of the St. John's Curling Club, for uh, live coverage on this Saturday evening of the tiebreaker for the 2024 Men's Provincial Curling Championship. Andrew Simmons against Nathan Young. Simmons with Hammer in the fourth, all tied up, one each. And it's been quite a game so far. It's been very well played, Jeff. Um, I wouldn't go so far as to say it's been exciting yet, but it's been very well played. Well, the first end was exciting. It, well, was, it was, yeah. That was madness. That was, yeah, great. Uh, and I think it's sort of like a cat and mouse. It's yeah. one is waiting for the other to crack and uh, maybe just a little chink in the armor. Yeah. And um, Alex Smith just went around the center guard, and this second shot from Ben Stringer looks to me to be a little on the wide side and warm, but... A little on the heavy side. Well, a lot on yeah. the heavy side. Yeah, it's. That's that's yeah, at, that's, at, at that's this some level, characteristic. That's, yeah, that's at yeah. this level. That's uh, that wasn't even close. Yeah. I don't know what that meant, or what caused it. But yeah, from our vantage point, we're able to see the body language of Ben after he threw it, and he was pretty well pulling his hair out. So yeah. he, he knew he did something unintended. But great shot by Alex, eh, to go right to the bottom. Yeah, and this is an opportunity to get it back in there. But yeah. have they found a, a straight spot? Bit of a late finish. Oh, that's pretty there good. Go. Nice that's draw good. weight. Yeah. yeah, very well done. Mostly undercover, I think. See Nathan indicating the run back now. Run that yellow one's back. or It's their stone, so they're allowed to move it. Yeah, even I think in, even in the five rock rule. 
Yeah, and I think it's uh, this is a peel. You don't want to run that back. The angles are so tight that you miss the run back by a sniff and you still leave a guard. So, But Nick can really... Yes, sir, he can wing it. And that's interesting now because if that guard... If that guard stays there throughout the end, the intern draw is gone. Um, I think Andrew now has decided to go around the corner. He's trying to force again. That's what this tells me anyway. Otherwise, he'd be throwing a center guard. I think he's trying to get around the corner, force Nathan to one. Interesting call. A lot of people would have thrown a center guard here. Pretty funny, actually, when I said the word wing it, my phone lit up. Siri thought I was ordering uh, takeout. Uh, <laughs> I think. <laughs> it's, always, it's always listening. That's good. But yeah. Nothing secret anymore, yeah, is there? Gee. Got to watch what you're saying around here. Absolutely. <laughs> At least get enough for the three of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so another run back here. Yeah, Nick loves to throw these, and yeah. he's really good at them. He's trying to, they'd like to shove the yellow into the pile, but the peel is acceptable, which is what he's got. Yeah. So I think Andrew throws a center guard now on those two rocks, and... Uh, the force may be back on again. Oh, no, he's not. No. Well, Andrew got hammer. Yeah. Oh, he does have hammer. I'm yeah. sorry. So he's putting the corner guards up. Uh, I, yeah, he's guarding He's guarding third shot. Yeah. And the message there is he's basically uh, assuming the, the rocks in the middle are probably not going to count. Right. Because they're, they're going to be doubled out. He's playing for quickly. two, yeah. So his activity is going to be around this corner guard. He's putting yeah, I apologize. I, lo I lost track of uh, who had last rock here. That's just what he wanted. Yeah, Nathan's got himself in a bit of a pickle here now. Because everything is blue. Yeah, so I think he's just playing a hit and, and maybe just stay on the nose there. I, I You can't afford yeah. to roll out no, because you, you, you might see out. Andrew go slip around that corner guard again. So If you could sort of hit it so that you're... Did you stay frozen to the blue? Yeah, you could do that. Or you could One hit and roll goes. yourself under the corner. Oh, you, uh, you could do that, but you do yeah. have to stay yeah. for a second shot. So Sam followed here. Out turn hit. He's throwing it harder than I, maybe than I would have liked, but. Yeah. Unless they're looking at the double. I'm sure he is. Uh, no. See, if you throw that shot with less weight, you roll under the corner yeah. and you negate the one that's buried. But yeah. but throwing that that hard, you had to be so precise. Yeah, I kind of like hitting it and sticking it right there. And, yeah. You know, then... And Simmons, let them deal with it. Simmons has to somehow move it out, you know? I don't think he. I don't think he would ignore it and just go around the corner. No, again. no. I think, uh, he'd, no, no. I think he'd make a play on it. Absolutely. Andrew's trying to figure out now how to get out of his own way. Yeah. Um, he's got one he's buried. Go he's got one in his, again now. I don't know if he's doing that or if he's going no? to the wide side. Okay. I think he's going to the wide side. He's he's sort of trying to stay out of his own way here. Yeah. Collins throwing an intern. Yeah. Some light dusting, so the weight must be close. Yeah, you want to you want to get it, get them at least um, side by side, at least deep enough, so there's no hit and roll. But ground up a bit there. Look. Yeah. yeah. So there's a hit and roll on the outside one. Yeah. Yeah. There's sort of almost like you get two options, is he? For yeah, he's got a hit and roll. He's he's got you know if he well, could the first one is with steep yeah the, if yeah if Nathan could make that double that he's indicating there yeah. and he'd be sunk buried under the corner guard, but this is uh, you're all in here. Yeah, 
Now, this is where uh, you would throw it a little bit harder because you want to try to move two blues under eight feet apart. So I'll turn hit and roll. And they're not touching this. I don't know what that means, but he nosed it. Nosed it, yep. Now, does Andrew go around the corner again? Yeah, it's a good option. Why not? Why not? Like, this is a defensive... The only thing he would worry about is if he goes around the corner that Nathan hits and rolls exactly. There you go. If Nathan was to do that... He may, buried, yeah. yeah, but it's still only a four-foot double. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if this is interesting, like... Andrew mm -hmm. wants to score, but he's a little bit tentative. Well, you know, he only, I guess he's... Knows it's no good to him, though. He's got no to roll good, in. Yeah, but a deuce is fine, too, Glenn. So where That's do you the roll? Side of it. But where do you roll? You got to roll under the corner, otherwise it's still yeah. a guard anyway. Yeah. Yeah, and you risk, if you roll the center, you might give... Uh, give him a freeze on your young, shot, right? Yeah, yeah right. or so. an easy hit and roll under a center guard, right? If he's not, if he, uh, if he leaves that rock open, that's I'd on the I'd be tempted button. to go around the corner guard mm. and say, Nathan, you better yeah. make the roll under the yellow or you're giving up a pile. Mm. Yeah, that'd be a low risk and put the pressure on for sure, yeah. Good time to do it, fourth end. I think so. Mm. Well, yeah. nice stone. Good roll, yeah. Nice stone. It looks like it's partially buried. It, it might be a little bit under. It appears to be buried on edge. enough that you can't make both blues. Yeah, I think I think that's safe, yeah. And Nathan may be forced to play play that double. Give him two. Or the hit and roll under the stagger. It's, it's it like this Nathan is all in here. He could hit and roll in front of shot rock and remove one of the blues or he could hit shot rock and roll under the staggered blues yeah that'd be a nice shot that would be great but that would be really good you better make it if you don't yeah. make it three is on yeah i think what they've decided to do jeff is probably play the uh hit and roll off the yeah the, the top rock that's buried and roll on top of the shot rock. I think that's what they're playing. It's not playing the double off off of that. I right? don't think the double no. is there, but our vantage point is not really good. It's 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 a reasonable angle. I think it's makeable. And he's throwing it hard, so yeah, he must be playing the double. I guess it's I guess it's available to him. Which means still an opportunity for two for uh, Simmons. Nice stone. That's a good throw. It is. But the deuce is on. The deuce is on, yeah. and that's all Andrew was trying to yeah. trying to play for. Anything more than the deuce was bonus. Now, I don't know what he's got here in terms of angle. It's Our vantage point is not as good as we'd like it to be, and they got the broom in the middle of the ice. Well, I don't know if he's throwing an intern or out. I, th I think he's throwing an intern, just drawn to the open side. Oh, okay. At lay two. And you may as well, because... You don't need to bury because if you if you if you bury your shooter, he's only going to hit the open one anyway. Yeah, and if you're in a situation where you needed three to to just tie the game, as an example, you'd go around. Yeah, that's right. But he does a deuce here is is big. And that's all he's played for is a deuce, yeah. and that uh, that would change this game going forward if he can get a two here. They've had control, Jeff, or, well, it's a 1-1 game, I know, but they have control. Uh, Andrew Simmons' team has controlled the play right from the beginning. Yeah, absolutely. So the boy's working his hard. He'd love to get He's it gotta get top in. four, top button, weight-wise. And that's good. That'll do it. No double there. No double there? Okay. I don't think Nichols would make that. <laughs> <laughs> Although Mark may beg to differ. Yeah.
So uh, Nathan is down to no alternative other than to try to play a hit and roll under the corner. That might get him shot rock. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the benefit, I guess, the, the, with with Simmons's rock curling a little t- far out to the wings, um, yeah, Nathan can roll and still be shot and rock. And still be shot. And be partially under the guard. And that would really tick off yeah. Andrew if that yeah. happens. <laughs> be a testy shot to, that, for yeah, two. And that overcurled Morham. Looks close. He's got to be pretty close. He's got to be really close. They're trying to straighten it. He must be close. Little roll. But I think it's open. Oh, maybe a little. Yeah, it's pretty well wide open. A little panicky on the sweep. I don't know if that's the right word or not, but uh, I think Sam, Sam, uh, Sam Bennett. Gee, Sam Follett um, probably thought it was going to continue to curl. It might have straightened up on him. So this is a soft weight hit, board weight, hack weight. Yep. Now that guard is sort of in his eye. He's got a, he's conscious of it. But certainly a makeable shot here for two. And two in this game, the way it's been going, Jeff, is going to change the complexion going forward. Well, they seem to like it. They've got... Colin Thomas trying to keep it straight, which means it's not it's not under curling. That'll do it, I think. Yep, nice stone. So Simmons with the deuce goes up by two and uh holds the even end advantage. Yeah, and we'll have to so, see uh, now how Nathan responds. They they have been chasing for the first hour for the first four ends. So we'll yeah. see now uh how they respond. Yeah, exciting stuff. So we'll be back to the REMAX Center in 30 seconds or so. All right, we're back. Fifth end action here with uh, the tiebreaker for the 2024 Men's Curling Championship. Jeff Cunningham along with Glenn Goss here this evening and Emily Neary pushing all the buttons on the computers to show you these great pictures. So uh, Simmons with the deuce in four and now uh, Nathan Young has hammer in the fifth. Trying to turn the tide on this uh, game that really 
Simmons has controlled Glenn since he has, we started. He has, Jeff. Uh, it, the scoreboard, it's 3-1. to one. It sounds like a, it's, it's a nice tight game, there's no doubt. But Andrew has dictated the, the play. And uh, Nathan's team has been more responding as opposed to dictating. So right now they're down by two. Uh, they're forced to try to take control, which is what he's trying to do. He's got a corner guard up. They're going around the corner guard. They'd like to force Andrew into some some shots that that could cost him. Because up to this point, everything Andrew's throwing is bonus. Well, he got the corner guard in play. And uh, I guess partially buried around. But Andrew's going to make a... He thinks he sees enough to make a, make a hit on the out turn. Glenn, on the ladies' side of things, uh, Haley Guju has conceded the uh, win to to Brooke Godsland um, after four. Uh, Haley's they've had a great week, you know, for a young team. Uh, great experience, and, they're, and they're, their skip and, is in Korea. Yeah, and yeah, so Haley jumped in to, to skip the team, and her com composure is amazing. Yeah, it's wonderful experience yeah. for her. She, she's getting a taste of what it's like at this level. Yeah. Um, and her skip is not here, so she's. It's it's a wonderful learning experience for all of them. Yeah, they did very well. Yeah, and it was uh, such a pleasure to watch her. Uh, pretty well, always with a smile on her face, and he, she really enjoyed it. And then over on ice uh, two with the the key game, I guess for uh, staying alive, uh, Curtis uh, maintains a, a three to one uh, margin over uh, over Boland, and uh, she has hammer in the fifth. Curtis's hammer in the fifth. Yeah, that was a good. They had a great game yesterday, um, but Sarah Boland uh, ended up getting it, getting a deuce in ten and winning in the eleventh end um, against uh, Stacy because Stacy was undefeated, I think, at that point. Yeah. And in the in the ladies' format where there's four teams, the, if if somebody goes undefeated, there is no playoff. That's right. So by right. winning that yeah. one game, she's forcing a playoff. Now, who's going to be in it? Who knows? Because hmm. uh, Goslin, I think, right now. Is number one on the on the, on the on the standings list. Yeah, so she'd have uh, she'd have last rock advantage in the final. In the final, yeah. I think, yeah, and I think these two would end up having to play each other again. Yeah, I don't know. Now to the viewers there uh, who are with us tonight. Again, we appreciate you uh, tuning in. Um, but if you're interested in the ladies' game, we won't be offended. The uh, that's also being carried on YouTube and and. Uh, Laura Strong and my wife Kathy are covering that game on the alternate YouTube channel. Is that nepotism? They call that nepotism. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's couldn't get anyone else to volunteer. <laughs> Nothing else to do on a Saturday night, but we're seniors, yeah. right? Oh my gosh. Although I'm missing the cabin party. Either this or not that's often be, from the that's TV. That's what I'd be doing, the cabin party. <laughs> I know one thing. My good friend, the Burgess, is in Burgess Junction. They're listed at the cabin party. No doubt about oh, that. Oh, guaranteed. And the fire is going. So Nathan's doing what he can now, try to get, try to get, a, get his deuce. He's got a rock in the rings. He's trying to guard it. He's playing for two, uh, and it's in this kind of a situation. The pressure's on the the team with Last Rock to make all of their shots, whereas Simmons' team only has to make a bunch of half shots and one good one. Mm. Um, so he'd love to make the run back here, but if he peels it off, then so be it. But eventually, what you'll see is you'll see Nathan go around the blue guard. And, uh, yeah, that's just waiting for him, isn't it? That's yeah. just waiting for him. Yeah. 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 He'll make a move there. Oops. There's the blink we were waiting for. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he's, uh, so close to being perfect, eh? Now, this is an interesting call. Nathan is playing. His first in instinct is to play wide open. Okay. Is he going to the open side? He's is going that what to the open yeah. side, yeah. I, it's, 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 it's interesting. I, 
my first instinct was go around the the center guard on the outturn side. But yeah, you I like that. You, you don't want to be any yeah. deeper than than yeah. top twelve, top eight. Well, that's right. Because if you pull into the button, he freezes say, you, then, and then, then all of a sudden freezes. your other one's gone. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is probably uh, you know a, a good call without putting too much pressure on your own team. It is, and he set out to he set out to get two, mm. and this gives him an opportunity for two, but. Boy, they're working this hard. Yeah, Glenn. it looks like Sam may have pulled the string. All on hands this. on deck here. It's still moving though. The big skipper out to give a hand. It's still going. And I think they got it there. Boy, gee, did they get it there? What an effort! Not quite, I don't think. But it's you know oh. uh, might be split a bowl. No, Is that a word? Split it's a not bowl? on. Whoever whoever invented this game knew how far apart yeah. to put the rings. Yeah, they did. It's like the guys who invented golf to do how small to make that hole. Yeah. <laughs> and they're not nearly plentiful enough. That's a lot of hard work for. Although he's got to make this run back. Otherwise, the deuce is still on. Yeah, and he could just raise that yellow that just came short. He'll split it. He'll tap it into the Absolutely. house or maybe split. Colin would love to stick this this time, which he's done. Well, I don't know. It's Good gonna, stone. Going to roll out, yeah. <coughs> so Nathan goes under the corner again. It was a good shot by Connor. He would dearly love to have nice, stuck yeah. it, but it was it was it was good to make it. And it's interesting, Jeff, uh, or yeah, that um, Colin Thomas, who just made those two runbacks, is the son of Jeff Thomas, who coaches Nathan Young. <laughs> so he's playing against his dad, for, for, for lack of a better. I'm trying to, trying to sink this. This, got, this looks pretty close. Behind, um, the tee, but, behind the tee, yeah. but buried. I, you know, I don't know if Andrew wants to take on the run back now. He may have to no, take on no, the freeze. I think, I think he'll just freeze it, Glenn. I think he may have to. Oh, well, he's sort of indicating that he sees enough. He, he can, must he, be he able to see it. enough, yeah. Like, again, from our vantage point, we're looking at it from a couple of sheets over, so it's a little bit skewed, but uh, obviously he can see more than more than I thought. I'm being told that you can see anywhere between a quarter and a third of that rock. So it's not a lot, Glenn. It is not. No, not for a hit. I, uh, I'm inclined. I'm more inclined to play that. Down to it. To play down to it, yeah. And they're really hard on that, keeping it straight. Oh, oh he nice. sneaks he got around. It. Oh, my God, it was wide open, sure. Very wide open, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was the Must shot. Must have been wide open. He had done the nose. <laughs> that was the right shot, yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. Good sweep. I did the broadcast earlier today with, with my wife, and I had, I think it was five things I guess I guessed that I guess you call it and I got one right I saw the one you got yeah. right though that yeah. was um, yeah it was good Jeff wasn't made it? that squirt yeah. through the hole yeah <laughs> when uh, Greg Smith I mean made that squirt yeah. through the hole yeah I saw that one yeah yeah if he does this he's gonna do this no he didn't no did something else <laughs> Boy, wasn't that a clinic by Greg Smith today. Oh, wow. I'll tell you, uh, Chris Ford, I've done oh. two or three games. He has been spectacular all yeah. week. He has been really good. And yeah. and young uh, Zach Shirtliff playing lead. Yeah. We Myself and Mark did a game, knows we did a game a couple of days ago that he played. He missed one stone. 
wow. in, in the three and a half hours. That's tough to beat. <laughs> Everything he threw was top yeah. button, top eight foot, top button, top eight foot. Yeah. Matter, amazing how well he played. And the other two weren't too bad either. Yeah. Crazy. Wonderful. I think Nathan was uh, figuring he was getting the roll there, but it didn't finish for him. <coughs> so, uh, I think Andrew's got the same looks, shot, but uh, yeah, it's probably a little more, more open now. A little now. more open, but I think he got so close to the guard the yeah. last time he's a little spooked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a little puck shy. <laughs> so, just checking in on ice two. Uh, big four ender for. Uh, for Stacy Curtis, she's gone up seven to one after five. So what will that mean? Do we know what that means? It means, uh, assuming she goes on to win, she'll have to play uh, Boland again for second place. Okay, so this will give her and last I'm rock. Wait, I'm waiting for Emily to tell me that's truth. Effectively, it's a tiebreaker. Yeah, okay. she'll go to a tiebreaker or a semifinal if you want to call it that. It becomes a semifinal. <laughs> And the winner plays Gosling. So you got to roll, but uh, not undercover. So in the ladies, Jeff, uh, yeah, I've just been informed by Emily. That uh, the ladies tiebreaker, assuming this this game that uh, St Stacy is up by six, c continues and finishes this way, that uh, they will play at nine, and the winner of that will play Godsland at two. Okay. Now, if I'm wrong, I'm sure Emily will yeah. give me a smack in the back of the I head. I think here, there but... is a nine o'clock draw. Yeah, I think they'll play at nine in a tiebreaker, and the winner play in, well in a semifinal, for lack of a better term. Yeah. And... All right. So uh, Young uh, plays the blank. Takes the hammer home in uh, in the sixth. So we're at the fifth end break. We'll be back in five minutes. Home to watch some top notch players.
Well, welcome back to the Remax Center, home of the St. John's Kernan Club for, I guess, the second half of the game. We've got the fifth end break just finished, and uh, we got a great game going on here between defending champion Nathan Young and uh, Andrew Simmons. And uh, Andrew's up three to one. Nathan has hammer in the sixth. Yeah, Jeff, but just uh, had a, well, used to be a good friend of ours, walk up and uh, say that he and his buddies think we look like Stadler and Waldorf from the <laughs> from the Muppets balcony, so he's not a yeah, friend anymore. I got that visual, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not far off. Stuck in our heads. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, Dave. Much yeah. appreciated. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll start making fun of everyone we're watching now. That's that's what they would do. We may as well. <laughs> Laugh and point. <laughs> yeah. So Nathan is he, he, like the, half the game is gone and he's down by two. He's he dearly loved to get a deuce and get back in the hunt. Yeah. Well, he's got a corner guard. He does. And he and but he but he's not going to panic yet because no. a steal here would be crippling. Oh uh, yeah. He has an opportunity to get a deuce back. They played very well last end. That. Missed one draw to the rings and it cost him, so in the blanking, but. Well, nice draw weight there by Ben Stringer. You know, Glenn, one thing I can say, Nathan Young, you know, composure, uh, experience, smart, curler. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, he's Wise not. beyond he's, his years. Yeah, but. and he's not going to panic here. He's going to be patient and wait for his opportunity. And, that that and team. That's uh, key. He and uh, he and I'm I'm not, I don't know Ben Stringer all that well. Nathan Locke is um like Nathan and and um, Ben Stringer are wonderful front end players that I've seen. I don't know them personally all that well, but I do know Nathan and Ben. And they you're right. They're not going to panic. They are yeah. um, wise beyond their years. They're yeah. early twenties, going on fifty. You know, so yeah. they're. Uh, they know what it takes to win, and you don't have to. You don't have to panic, and and they won't. Well, that was uh, that was almost disaster there. That hit just barely ticked the rock out. So there's backing. So we're going to try to come around that corner guard, that yellow rock again. No short shortage of weight here. This seems to have plenty of steam. Looks a little on the heavy side to me, Jeff, but yeah, it is too. A little deep. Yeah. Whoops. That's not good. No. Nick won't be happy with that. So, Glenn, I got a little bit of information, a little trivia here now. Uh oh, a little something the on test. our on Emily, our technical oh, producer uh -huh. here tonight, and our running our switchboard. Emily is an academic all Canadian. She is, I and mean, you know what that means, Glenn? Someone that has an overall average of eighty percent or higher while playing sports. Uh. That's something that you and I could never have attained. No, <laughs> not, sure. not at the we same time. That's for, first. that's for sure. <laughs> And, and she's doing uh, it. That's incredible. Wonderful. And made the Dean's List. Oh. No, I made the Dean's List, but for a different reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't for academic achievement. So hats off to Emily, who's wonderful. Uh, yeah. Great curler and obviously quite smart. Good for you. And I think, as I said yesterday or day before yesterday, Emily has played. She's filled in with, a, well, as a fill in, she's filled in with our senior men's team in the major league, but she's probably played more games than either one of us. So I maybe know. we're all filling in on her team. Yeah, I'm really getting embarrassed though when you ask her to throw a peel and I can't keep up with it. Yeah, but she throws it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm embarrassed. Like I said earlier, when when I'm saying I'm going to throw a peel and when I let it go, she says, "Control, control." It's <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I've given up worrying about the fact that I can't throw it as hard as her. I just like to be able to catch it when I'm sweeping it. Well, I'm not going to call it anymore. Jag it. Well, that's a that's a beauty. Yeah, that round is, cover. Yeah, that's a beauty. Nathan is pushing the issue here now. Yeah. 
And good on him. Yeah, they needed that, didn't they? Yeah, absolutely. And Andrew, is Andrew going to play the draw, uh, the freeze, or is he going to play the run back? If he plays the run back, typically the worst he gives up is two. Yeah, I like the freeze. It's you know if the if rock you, is right on the send a T line, so there's plenty of room to come down and freeze. And you to have it. to, but you do have to make it. Otherwise, oh, yeah. they loop one around oh, again, and then yeah. the three is on. So you got to make sure you make this. You got to. Yeah, so the shooter has to be happy to throw it. Yeah, if you're heavy here, you're in uh, trouble. You're in trouble. So this is a kind of situation where I, you know, as a skip, I look up my shooter and say, I like this or I like this. What one do you like to make? What what one do you see in your eye? Yeah, this is where you got to know your own team and, you and what you feel comfortable that they're going to be able to execute. The sweepers don't seem to be too fussy about it. They haven't touched it. Oh, nice weight, just it's didn't a, quite curl. Now, it's an interesting situation because... You can't hit and roll off it, not not under cover anyway. So he's, I think he's just going to freeze the pocket and take his chances. Now some people, you know, I think you and I might have a chat about possibly moving the blue, rolling over towards the Remax balloon, uh, and lie too. I think that Andrew would be forced to hit the open one, and then yeah. you can go around again yourself. Yeah. But he, he's electing to come in, draw again. I think again. he's going yeah. in right now, yeah. Yeah, I don't mind it. Don't mind it at all. Trying to make it curl now. I think they're getting fooled. The ice might be a little bit straighter than they've expected it yeah, to be. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're coming by that guard by foot. Oh, no, yeah, that's pretty good. Though. Yeah, good result. I don't think there's a double there without leaving. No, there is no double. You'd have to uh, leave the top one on top of the blue, wouldn't you? Yeah. There's the no top double. one would hit the blue. And I don't know, from our, again, from our vantage point, how much I'm trying to get a sense of of how how buried that might be. It looks like it might be just a little bit better than edge on edge, maybe? I think it's just edge on edge. Yeah, it might be, yeah, a little bit here. Maybe a little bit. But he's playing it, going to play the blue into the pile. <laughs> yeah. Just going to rip off the guard, I think. <laughs> Well, Nathan puts it back. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah. Interesting situation because right now, right now the deuce is on for Nathan. You know, some people may say draw the M in Remax and lie one, two, and three um, and let Andrew worry about it. But Nathan is going to throw a guard again. Nathan's going to throw a guard again, and uh, but but he's going to have to come back to the middle soon, Jeff, because mm. there's a blue one there. Yeah, I don't mind the guard at this stage. <laughs> so after this, we're down to skip rocks. Always work it to bring the line up. Yeah, and you might, you may see. Well, I think yellow might be lying too. I think that yellow is too. And the thing is, if if Andrew plays on that yellow that he's just indicating there, I mean, the blue is going to be gone. Unless you throw right. like back four, back eight, wait, just take that freeze off and stay frozen to the one that you hit. Yes, that would be a nice shot. And yeah, but if you play any amount of weight, blues are gone. The blues, that's and right. And you better stick around, you know, and undercover. 
And if the ice he's taken, it looks like he's looks like he's going to throw a bit of weight. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, my first instinct would be just soft. Stay frozen to the yellow one, and keep Nathan to two, or maybe you could yeah, force so him to one. This looks like it's at least uh, normal takeout weight with this ice. Yeah, he's not taking much ice. Oh, he's throwing a heater. Maybe he thinks he can bounce it out. Which he did not do. No. Did he bounce it far enough? Maybe he did. Mm, the blue at yeah, the back he did. is third. Yeah. But Nathan's happy with this. This gives Nathan an opportunity to, if he makes well, it, roll the three is back on. The three is back on, and worst case is a deuce. So that In that situation, if you play back ring weight mm -hmm. and you hit it exactly where you hit it, you're still frozen to it. You're still frozen, yeah. It's been a real cat and mouse, hasn't it, Jeff? Right mm -hmm. from the start. No, it's a great game. Great entertainment. It is. This is a big rock for Nathan now. This is a chance to get back in the hunt. So in turn, hit and roll undercover. Just roll undercover, yeah. And if he can make this, I don't know what Andrew has. Maybe a corner freeze or some something squirrely, but yeah, he may have played the out turn draw. He's got a curl. Oh boy, wide open. It was a double there, now maybe a triple. That had to curl so another inch. Yeah, yeah, you need to hide hide that underneath the guard. Looks like it's just open. Eh? Yeah, but as you as you said a little while ago, you know the guards in his eye, mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes you have a tendency to make sure you don't hit the guard, so you get it out a little bit, and you jam it. So this is the same shot he just played. I think he's got to be awfully close to that guard to make the double, but again, our our angle is a little bit skewed. Yeah, I, I my guess would be he has to go within an inch or two of the guard. And also not hang it up on the back yellow one at five at four yes. o'clock there. This looks like it's out there a little bit to me. Okay. Ooh. He jammed it. Yeah. Can you move that for four? Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh. That's there. It looks like it. It it looks like it's um, it's wide open, isn't it? It looks like it is maybe edge on edge. Maybe edge on edge with the guard, but the guard is fifteen feet in front of it. Yeah, it's definitely makeable for Nathan. Wow, would this ever change the game, hey? Who saw that to, coming? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to watch this later in myself again. I, but again, Jeff, it goes back. I yeah. For me, the weight choices. I I don't yeah, have. You want to stick that shooter right yeah. on the face? I don't no have doubt. an issue with the with the call. I've got an issue with the speed. <laughs> so, what we're being told is he might be able to see about a third of this. Well, certainly not. That's enough with the quiet weight. Oh, yeah, and he's he's twelve or fifteen feet between the guard and the one yeah. he's trying to make. If he just rubs it, he's getting two. Yeah. If he sticks around, he's getting three. If he knocks it out, he gets four. Yeah. So quiet out turn, take out, tap back. Other than that, it's pretty easy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> easy from up here. Oh God, I haven't missed one here yet. Well, they got Nick trying to keep it straight. Now they're trying to curl it. So he must be really close. Straight again. He must be really. Wow. Is he going to curl too much? 
Oh, nice shot. What a wonderful shot. That is a that was a team shot. Wow, what a turnaround. You know, it's wonderful. That, that was a, a great a great shot by Nathan, but as soon as it came out of his hand, did it belonged rub, to Sam. That that it belonged guard? to Sam followed and the and the I think I don't know if did it rubbed. rubbed the first guard? No? I don't I don't think. Jeez. But once it came out of his hand, it belonged to Sam Follett and the two sweepers, and they yeah. kept going back and forth, back and forth. Well, very exciting. So a big four for Nathan Young. We'll be back for the seventh end action. Should be quite a finish. Stay with us. Well, welcome back for what's no doubt going to be an exciting finish to this tiebreaker for the 2024 Men's Provincial Championship. Nathan Young picking up a huge four-ender. Seemed to come out of nowhere, Glenn. But, oh, who uh, saw, nobody saw yeah. that coming. Yeah, and uh, so now he uh, grabs control of this game. So we're in the seventh. And uh, lots more curling yet to come. Ten-end game, which is on different from what we're used to playing in, in regular league play. So uh, full 10 ends is the rules for the championships. So lots of curling. Another hour of curling left yet, folks. Yeah, and, and, and not to be critical, it's, it's just my observation. Uh, I, I, I have no question with Andrew's calls in the last end, the last three or four shots. I, I would not have thrown them as hard as he threw them. Um, I, you know, he, he, he threw peel weight on a couple of shots. And I think there's times you just start to move stuff around, keep the other team to two if you have to. But he went all in, rolled out, and all of a sudden there was a jam at the back. Yeah. And Nathan had a tap for four. Wow. Yeah. Quick update. Uh, the game, the ladies game uh, between uh, Stacy Curtis and Sarah Boland. Uh, Stacy picked up a, a big uh, count in the uh, sixth. And uh, Sarah Bolin has conceded the game. So that sets up a tiebreaker, a rematch between the two teams tomorrow morning at 9. So Sarah Bolin and uh, Stacey Curtis. And the winner then will advance to play Brooke Godsland in the provincial ladies final. Winner goes to the Scotties. Yeah, it'd be a so great day tomorrow. Great fun lots, to watch. Lots of hard we're giving out tomorrow. And, um, you know, even more so, uh, an exciting trip to the Canadian Championships. Oh, absolutely! This is what this is what these ladies are and men are are playing for, the opportunity to represent your province in the national championship, and um, so they're 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 like they're all in, and good on all of them. Good for them. 
great competition. And for these guys here, this is, as I said, this is a tiebreaker. And the, uh, of course, the winner of the men's provincial here will join Brad Guju at the Briar. So Newfoundland will have two teams again this year. And uh, for Newfoundland curling fans, doesn't get better than that. No, it's great. It's fantastic. Been a little missed there by uh, Nick Codner. Yeah, he wouldn't He wouldn't be happy. Just... You know, If I were Ben Stringer, I wouldn't get too close to Nick right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a chance to cool off. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> he's not happy, but... No. Um, He's a, he's a fiery competitor, and I love it. So still, uh, Nathan Young has a couple of stones in around the forefoot that Andrew has to deal with, but Andrew has a guard. And one buried. And one buried, so opportunities. You play for two, play for your deuce. If you get more than that, then that's a bonus, and that's what that's what, Andrew, what uh, Nathan got in the last end. He was playing for two. He got a couple of misses out of Andrew's team, and all of a sudden he had a crack at four, and he made it. And good on him. <laughs> nice freeze. This is a good call by Nathan. A lot of people would go to that frozen one and pick it off. This is a good call by Nathan. Run the guard, is he, Glenn? Yeah, run the guard. If you can run it into the one on the edge of the button, that'd be fine. and Pick that off. That would be real good. Or run it into the shot that's buried. That would be good, too. Oh, oh so but close. But that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. But that's fine. Yeah. He cleared the guard. That was prime yeah, objective. Yeah, that's fine. There's, you know, they got, they got four rocks left to come on their team, and there's no guards. And Andrew has to come back to the middle eventually. But Jeff, I, like, I, I work with uh, Nick Codner's team, Simon Perry, who's off of the Youth Olympics in in Korea. And they won their first game, by the way, he and Kaylee Locke in the, in the mixed doubles in Korea. And Nick plays third on that team, throws third rocks on that team with Simon. And uh, I've been working with him this year, and we've been away to two or three or four tournaments. And he makes, Nick makes so many runbacks. It's wow. unreal. Wow. It's amazing and quite talented. Oh, he's got the talent for that and he can really throw it hard and it really throws it straight. Wonderful talent. So, Glenn, what you're saying is really, you know, we've got some great young curlers that are just dying to take the place of Brad Guju. Oh, um, oh, I think we're you know, I think our future is pretty solid. Yeah. Which is great to see. Um, Brad is such a hard act to follow, but uh, as a province, we do have some great junior curlers, so let's keep it going. So Andrew just keeps throwing guards on that one that's... Uh, on the wings, he's playing for his deuce. Try to keep guarding that that shot, but eventually we'll have to come back to the middle. Yeah, and he's going to have to deal with the other yellow one that's at the top four as well. That, so. Yeah, that's right. That that's a problem. That yeah. one. Yeah. But hopefully he gets a little hope for a break here and uh, maybe a plug on the guard. I think Nathan feels he can get at this rock now. That's the one that Colin threw was a little bit soft, a little bit short. I think, oh, based on the call, again, our vantage point is not good, but based on the call, it looks as though Nathan feels he can get to the rock get, that's buried without running it back, yeah, without get, running the guard back. So, get through those two guards. He yeah, can go I think the so. Port. I think that's what he's. Well, that's definitely what he's playing. Whether he can mm. do it or not, I don't know. Yeah, but... we'll find out, eh? Oh, Gus. Sam made that look easy. Great shot. Yes, got it out. So we're down to... 
is it thirds first or thirds? No. Yeah, he's going to have to play on that one. To Jeff yeah, I think it's time about. now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's too late to go around that corner again. Play the hit and roll. Hope for hope for a break, a jam. Yeah, that's what he's looking for. I think he's trying to hit and roll six, eight inches towards the center line so that there is no double on the two blues. Now, if you roll a foot too far, then there is a double on the two blues. Yeah. So he's uh, this requires a bit of surgery. Even if he noses it, there's no double on the two blues. No, that's right, because the blue is frozen to that yeah. rock on the back button, the yellow. You just can't. That's real good. That's real good. Yeah, good spot. No double on the two blues. So Nathan recognizes there's no double, so he's just saying, okay, I'm going to hit that, and I'll roll to the center line. Yeah, he's going to try to set it up where there is a double on the yeah. two blues. Where did he change his mind then, Glenn? I don't know. Did he? Well, he, he put the broom right in the middle of the blue rock. So to me, that spells a and, rocket. And he, he may, and, and, he may be, and he may be satisfied to take the hit it on the nose and take the freeze off. And uh, blue would be shot rock on the button. Mm. He'd be second. So the worst he gives up is two. Do you know what I mean? Like if yeah. he hits this on the nose. The one he hits goes, bounces out of the rings, and the worst he gives up is two. Yeah. And maintains hammer in the eighth end in a tie game. Now, I like the idea of hitting and rolling over towards the edge of the forefoot on the other side. Yeah. So that there is a double, but he's satisfied to. He's thrown a lot of weight. You don't want to stick this on the blue one. Which he did. Like that. You didn't? Yeah, you don't want to do that. Now, they, you know, they are staggered. So, you know, the double is there if uh, if Simmons gets a crack at it. But maybe, Which he does. Sorry, this is Simmons' round. This is what Simmons, yeah. So yeah. Simmons is line too. Yeah. Now, you could throw a guard and... Yeah, you can and throw hope. you throw a guard and or you can throw a back a ring weight, take the freeze off, and hope they don't make the double on you. A yeah. double. It's so a be, three is still in the mix here. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to maneuver these that that Nathan doesn't have a double. And, and again, yeah. we, we go back. We talked about the last end. Where, uh, in my opinion, Andrew Simmons overthrew a couple of rocks that I probably wouldn't have thrown him as hard. That's a similar situation. There was no need to throw it that hard. It's not about how hard you hit it. It's about where you hit it. Um, yeah, I think he was trying. I think he thought he could get them all. I don't think he could get them all, yeah, but I think he was uh, trying to take, bounce it and take the freeze off. I yeah. think that's what he was trying to do. I would have just been playing it hit and roll to our right side. Yeah. And then there's definitely a double, no matter what yeah. Andrew Simmons does. But anyway, that was his choice. And as it turns out, it didn't work out. But I haven't missed too many shots from up here, Jeff. No. Yeah, so Andrew's really tortured here trying to figure out the best yeah, alternative. Tor tortured. That's so he's uh, he's yeah. looking at playing what you were talking about. Just you give that blue one a tap and, yeah, and, and take tap the it freeze back. off. Yeah. Take the freeze off. That's now, the they're, option. now they're talking about a tight guard. And uh, I think you know the guard's got to be perfect. If he if he does. doesn't cover that. Uh, that right hand rock there he's broom is there now then there's a double there is it's a it's a gimme double for uh, nathan and and like alex was talking about let's throw it maybe top 12 foot towards the center line mm. but then there might be a triple and you no, and you hang yourself yeah you know so it's an interesting conundrum yeah do you take your two you take yeah that's right yeah or do you try do you to be hope aggressive you get lucky and get three, three? yeah 
I mean, two would be good here, I think. Yeah, and, and you know, two. like my, my, my thought er, er, earlier was try to take the freeze off and separate the rocks. But no matter what you do, there's going to be a double somewhere because they're just too far. They're, they're, they're too close as it is. You can't throw it too hard. So you want to bounce out, make a double. So, you know, maybe you guard. But if, like, where do you throw your guard? Yeah. I think the one you have to guard. I think it's got to be pretty tight. You if you want to throw a guard, it's got to be yeah. one. You got to guard the one that's at the back of the button, not the one at the front of the button. Because if you guard the one at the front of the button, he picks off the back one and you're getting two anyway. Yeah. If you guard the back one, there's no double. Well, looks like the guard is. Yeah, and, is and, the and, choice. and yep. Alex is saying if we're going to guard, if we're going to guard the the one on our left hand side, the one at the front of the button, then we got to throw it in the rings. And he's right. So this guard, you know, placement of this is is key. Oh, it's uh, critical. If this over curls, Nathan has a wide open double, and For now, sure. the, now the force is on. As Nathan plays the double, sits two. Or in, in this situation, if Andrew comes up two inches short of the rings, you might see um, you might see Nathan just pick off. The rock at the back of the forefoot and say here take your deuce mm -hmm. and i still have control so this is an opportunity that you have to take advantage of oh you must have got a pick the way he reacted he got a pick it stops there it might not be too bad oh that... well May have overcurled just enough. Just a sniff, yeah. Whether he can get the double now, Glenn, I'm not sure, but he can certainly hit it on the nose. As soon as Andrew let that yeah. go, uh, his reaction was that it, yeah, it, it, he, it, it, a flat spot or something. Yeah. He's not happy. But it may have stopped. It may still be in the way. It's amazing how things have changed. Like the first five ends was was all Simmons. And with that one jam in the last end, it's now all young. Yeah. Yeah. Tide has turned. So either way, Glenn, he's playing the hit. Not sure if he's able to make the double or he's just planning to stick yeah. somewhere in the forefoot. Yeah, and if we force him to two, we'll, yeah. take, we'll, we'll live with that. Yeah, or, you know, he might be glued to the blue and it makes a tough two. Oh, absolutely. Tough shot for two. That's a good for point. Yeah. With the ice he's got, he's yeah. not overthrowing this. He's not throwing it too no, hard. So. Quiet weight, so he's trying to stick it there somewhere. He's trying to stick it there, yeah. Trying to get it by as he by. Oh. Oh, very good. Oh, it's a shot for two. Nice shot. <laughs> yeah, I think I think Andrew Simmons has a reasonable shot for two here. Uh, he does. And you know Nathan, wait. Nathan Hack wait, maybe. His reaction wasn't his reaction was that he's not happy with the outcome, but I think, truth be told, the way the last three or four shots went, giving up a deuce here is not a bad thing. No. And he got control back. He's he's up. He's tied up. With hammer. With hammer. And it took him two hours ends. to get it, but now he's yeah. got it. And this has not been made yet either. This is no. a critical shot for Andrew. This has to curl too. That's well out there. Always working it, trying to get it to curl. Oh, Did he hang on? Did he hang on? Just hung yeah. on for second shot. So nice shot. Boy, those sweepers certainly made that curl. Oh, man, did they ever. So that's the deuce. So we're all tied up after seven. Uh, Nathan Young carries... 
hammer into the eighth. So don't go away. Great We're stuff. We're for an exciting finish. We'll be back soon. Welcome back to the Remax Sanders home of the St. John's Curling Club for continued action from the uh, tiebreaker at the uh, 2024 Men's Curling Championship for the province. So uh, the end started, I guess, with a, with a center guard by Andrew Simmons, come around, come around, and uh, now Nathan Young is line two under that guard, Glenn. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, as we spoke about earlier, the first five ends was all Andrew Simmons. He he was he was in control of the game with one shot in the sixth by Andrew that jammed a rock at the back of the rings, and then Nathan makes a shot for four. The whole complexion of the game has changed. Uh, all of a sudden now, Andrew or Nathan seems to be in control. Nathan Young is in control. Yeah. So it's an interesting. It's 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 a it's is really interesting stuff the yeah. strategy that's involved in this, and neither one still wants to give any quarter because it's a tie game. Yeah, they, and there's ten ends, so uh, there's uh, three ends left. This is the eighth. Yeah, and it's not a race to the finish. It's a no. get to the finish. It'll get yeah, get to the finish. And you know, great response from uh, Andrew Simmons and company Definitely. in the you know in the seventh to get that deuce. Um, yes. nice deuce nice shot to get the deuce in these last rocks so uh, they're in the game <laughs> but I like Nathan's situation here now he's, he's about eliminating blue rocks <laughs> but that center guard is uh, could could be a problem for Nathan. Yep. I think Andrew will play a double here now, I would think. Play the double or hit that. You'd love to be able to hit it and roll under the center. 
but yeah, but it's a tie game. If you're down a couple, maybe that's what you do. But yeah. uh, in a tie game with three ends left, I think you play the double, take your chances. Yeah, hope if, for a rollout, and then he can. And if you get a then break, get then, yeah, take yeah. advantage. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, they're still pondering. They're not 100% committed to the double, though, Glenn. No, because, you know, truth be told, it looks like a nice, easy double, but <laughs> you got to make it. Mm. If you don't make it, and and you can see the deuce, mm. you'll you'll you know you'll yeah. you won't be very happy. No. No, every shot's key at this stage. Yeah. Stephen this, Trickett then going to try that double, yeah, playing this, the out turn. Okay, it's a crucial double to make. No. No double, but. I guess just shifts the action to the other side of the guard. But this gives Nathan now an opportunity to yeah to lie to with one at least one sunk. <laughs> yeah, and why not go for it either? There's Absolutely. no real risk here not to go for the roll. There's no downside. This looks like it's hanging out there. I don't know. Trying to make a curl a wee bit. And what we have for line. Oh, he's gone the other way. Okay. okay yeah, he decided to go to the open. I think the ice is a little bit straighter, Jeff, than it has been the last few days. I don't yeah. know. Or, or, you know, I'm, I'm guessing that now again because we, have, we haven't seen too many um, over curls. But, yeah. I mean, like, a, we've had a number of hits that have been on the outside part of the stone as opposed to the inside part and so maybe it's the shooters but it seems to be a little oh, yeah, they're certainly not they're not curling hard these stones are not and i'm surprised because you know the the information i had was we uh uh we flipped the stones so these were new stones i don't know seven eight years ago uh and when you buy them out of the factory they're they're basically finished on both sides and I was told we flipped the stones to take on the new edge. Yeah, we did, but you and know, I saw. I don't. I, I'm surprised they didn't uh, aren't curling harder. Well, I think if you had six sheets going like we did a couple of days ago or yesterday, you might see a little curl. But it's probably colder out there because mm. there's only one game going on right now, and uh, the cold colder the ice is, the straighter it is, mm. and I, you might be seeing that right now. This is well, this crash is, on the guard there. He's crazy on. now, yeah. yeah. And now a uh, chance for Team Young to just split the house, lay three. Yeah, who saw this coming? Yeah. <laughs> Sam Follett, he's a great player. It's a big stone. Yeah. <laughs> Must be close. The boys are yeah, you'd on and off. You'd like to, you'd like to get it just a hair in front of the tee line, so that there's. Oh, that might be a little bit too high. I don't know. Yeah, it might be open. Yeah, it's open up for a double. Yeah, but there's a double on the other side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if that goes another rock deeper. Yeah. Then the double is not there, and you're looking at it at least a deuce. But Andrew has to try to figure out how to cluster these rocks on one side now. He's got them eight feet apart. Well, certainly you can play a double off that uh, stone that Sam Follett just threw. Or at least roll towards it. Yeah. And you cluster the, them, yeah. you know? But you're getting down to thirds, third stone, so... Third's last rock. This is Colin's last, I think. Yes, it is. Yeah, this is a big stone. All of a sudden, you're trying. To, they're trying to keep Nathan to two. And, oh, a little too thin. 
Okay, now you can see the indication go right to the T line with this one. Yeah. So There's, another chance for Sam Follett to put this in the ideal location. Just go another foot deeper yeah. than he was before. Now, if you go two feet deeper, then the doubles doubles the other way. The yeah. other way. But you know, it's it's pretty precise. Just go a foot deeper, and I think then you might force Andrew to have to play the the other rock on the on the wide side. The sweepers don't want to touch this, which tells me they think it's a little on the heavy side. Got to be careful in the wings, too. Late in the game, those wing shots to the outside can get a little quick on you. That's where the ice is good. Yeah. Oh, that's got to stop. That's got to stop. Oh, Ugh. that's a big miss. And nobody feels worse about it than Sam. But, you know, Jake, the, the deuce is still on. Yeah. It's interesting. Uh, on Sam's first one, the sweeper sort of thought there was plenty of weight and we're on again, off again, and it was a little short of target. Yeah. And uh, who knows? Maybe the weight was fine and he, he didn't need to add more weight. You know, could have just it's, grabbed. It's, it's could it's be still, two different rocks. Who yeah, knows? Yeah. It's still Although an these interesting guys are, situation. It's, um, I know Sam is not is not happy with himself, but... The deuce is still on here, yeah. and Andrew's got no guards to hide behind. Even if he hits and rolls behind the blue guard yeah. on our left, the yellow one on the other side out counts it anyway. Yeah. So he's not out of the woods yet. I, I, I would have thought Andrew would play. Is there a double? No, I don't think so. I can't tell. It's uh, No, that's too flat. That's too flat. No double. But there. if you roll, if you play the outside one and you roll towards the middle, you have an opportunity to set up a double. If you play yeah. this one and you roll too far, they split the rings and you're giving up two for sure. So playing the hit and probably a little roll towards the yellow, I think, is what he's trying. Yeah. Try to set up a double. And you know, I, I if, would have done that Nathan on the other one. Yeah, if Nathan knows this now, he'll, he'll have a chance for a double. But Nathan's got seven feet to roll to in this direction, uh, to the left. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I think I would have played the outside one and roll in towards the other one. Anyway, either way, it's uh, Nathan. That's your Waldorf opinion? That's my Waldorf, Waldorf opinion. Waldorf and yes, Stadler, right. yeah. What do you think, Stadler? <laughs> <laughs> but either way, Nathan's got to make one here, and Andrew's got to make another one. A harder one, probably. This is a big stone. So out turn hit. He's going to try to roll, I guess, towards He'd the left love of the to screen. Roll this way. I don't know if he's going to yeah. or not. But rolls a little left. No, nope. nope. he's going to give Andrew a chance to get out. Yeah. It's definitely a double there. I guess he's got to hit the outside one, the one on the M and Remax. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they're talking. I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. To be honest with you, what's the alternative? Because if he hits the other one, it's quite likely yeah. that it'll go into it. it'll go into the blue. Right. I don't know the what they're goes talking about. Blue. Yeah. Yeah. I'd have this thrown and missed by now. Right through the hole. <laughs> right through the hole, we'd go. What do you mean that's true? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, here's his double attempt. They're screaming. And he made it. Yeah, well done. Beautiful shot. Yeah. And stuck around on the back. Boy, this just keeps going back and yeah. forth, doesn't it? So Nathan now just playing the blank. He'll 
Yeah. Play the hit now and, and roll and, out. And in the eighth, in the eighth end of a Tankard semifinal, just playing the blank is not that easy. No. They're working on this. Oh, he got it. Okay. Nice stone. So blank end. So Team Young takes uh, last rock advantage into end number nine. Stay tuned. It's going to be an exciting finish. We'll be back momentarily. Well, welcome back, everybody, to the REMAX Center, home of the St. John's Curling Club for this tiebreaker action, and I hope you're enjoying this game as much as we are. Um, before we get back to the action, I just want to take a moment to acknowledge the sponsors. Um, these teams, of course, all uh, invest a lot in the game and uh, can't do it without support of uh, some great local companies, so for... Uh, for Nathan Young's team, they're, they're supported by Provincial Refrigeration, Orthodontic Associates, uh, F.J. Wadden, BDO, Wedgwood Insurance, Service Master Restore, and Hardline Nation. And for Andrew Simmons' team, Hardline Nation is their major sponsor. So once again, on behalf of the teams, thanks so much for supporting curling. Uh, it means a lot to the teams. So, Glenn... No doubt the next half hour is going to be as exciting as the first two. Oh, my gosh. It's wonderful. It's um, It's been back and forth right from the very beginning. Nathan uh, had con – or Andrew had control in the first five ends. Nathan took control. Nathan Young took control in the in the next three. And now it's it's a, it's a toss-up. It's a, a race to the finish now, as it wasn't before, but – it's, uh, I really thought Nathan was in a situation where he could get himself a two, possibly a three in the last end. That didn't work out. Andrew made a wonderful double and they blank. So they start again. 
but Nathan still does have control, and that's that's what you play for, control. Yeah, so Nathan has hammer. Uh, he wouldn't want to get a single point this end. He'd rather blank it or get a, get a two or a three. Um, but, I mean, the end's uh, – it's, uh, it's junked up already. <laughs> we got the uh, – Andrew's got the uh, – the uh, center guard's up, so it's going to be an interesting end. And he's got two freezes made. Mm. So Andrew is going to try to force Nathan to one. He would really not like to force him to two or three. No. <laughs> don't don't force uh, to two. He'd yeah. like to force him to one if he could, but not at the expense of giving up giving up your chance to win. So it's it's going to be fun. I, I don't see a way of getting rid of anything more than the guard right now for Nathan. Um, and I think that's all he's... Yeah, that's what he's going to do. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you could run it straight back and pick the blue one off, but that's going to leave a center guard anyway, which mm -hmm. is what Andrew wants. But those two blues are in great spots right now. Yeah, so he's a great shot there. You can see that uh, yellow is shot stone. Top four foot. So I think we're going to see a few guard peel combinations. Yeah, here now, I think right? so. I'd be surprised if the rock that you see at the top of the fourth with the yellow one, I'll be shocked if it's still there at the end of the end. Um, it's with the blue one for almost frozen to it. It's a, it's a gimme for if you touch the blue, the yellow has gone. Okay. Team Young has called a timeout. Each team gets two one minute, 30 second timeouts uh, for the game. I believe this is the first time out, Glenn. It is. Uh, it's the For first time teams? out that I've seen yeah. in the last couple of days. I uh, I don't know if this means that Jeff Thomas is going to go out and uh, and give his opinion. Jeff is the is the coach of this particular team. It's interesting because he'd be coaching against his son, but um, well, I guess not. Yeah, Jeff is coming out to the ice. Okay, so, so Jeff is on his way out. Um, so it is a strategy timeout, not a, just a timeout to save right. the clock. It is a kind of strange setup where Simmons has made two perfect freezes. It's ugly. It's it, hard to it, know. It, it, yeah. It's ugly for Nathan. Yeah. yeah. While, while your lion shot rock yeah. in the forefoot that's buried, you're thinking, oh, it's not good. We don't have no. we don't have control here. Yeah. And all Simmons has to do is tap the blue one that's on the top eight foot, remove the yellow. And he's lying and two or he's three. Lying, he's lying two. Oh, and depending and, on where he rolls, maybe, maybe three. Maybe three, yeah. You know, so... Um, so now, then, you know, then Young is, is facing three. and So at know. what point do you do that? It's, yeah. it's too early to do it, I think, right now. I, I, I think... You still like the peel? I think, yeah, yeah. I think you play the peel. Um, and I think you keep doing that. And then later on, maybe you, maybe you make a move. And you can make a move on the other turn and take the freeze off. Well, like, that's could, an option. You, you could just freeze down to the blue on the back of the forefoot, too. You could do that also in light two. Yeah. That's right. But I don't think you do it yet. No. I think you I think you I think you take the guards off. I don't think Simmons, Andrew Simmons, has much alternative other than to put them back. Now he could, you know, he could play he could play blue on the yellow, but that's gonna open up a double. I, I you know, I I think they'll play a a couple of more peels, I think. That's my sense. Yeah, for so for Simmons, you're down to the uh, second stones, second rock at the end. So we still got a lot of rocks to play. And your point is a good one, Jeff. That you keep play, peeling the guards, and after another couple of peels, you go down to the back blue and lie two. Yeah, that's not a bad deal either. Not a bad deal, no. So I think that's what they've uh, what they've settled on. Hmm. And of course, by doing this, they're hoping that Team Simmons has a miscue on their guard and doesn't right. cover the front one. Right. 
You don't play for it, but you hope no. for it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, nice clearing shot by uh, by Nick. Nick by doing Nick, Nick yeah. things, and he he can do that in his sleep. I hope I didn't jinx them because we're going to the <laughs> we're going to the juniors. We're going to the under 18s in Ottawa next week. Uh, he's playing third for Simon Perry, so we're hope I didn't jinx them. Simon's got him to talk about Simon's got himself a, a busy schedule. He's in Korea. He left a couple of a few days ago. He's in Korea until the 1st of February. He gets back and goes directly to Ottawa to play in the under 18s. And then four days later, he comes home here and he plays in the under 21s. Oh my heavens. So I hope he gets lots of sleep. Gonna be pretty busy, and not only he, but Kaylee, his partner in the mixed doubles, is in the same boat. Yeah. All right, so another clearing shot here by Sam Follett. Yeah, nicely thrown. What we expected. Do it again. And Glenn Sam has been accepted into chiropractic school. And he'll be leaving us for a couple of years. Oh, really? Moving to the U.S., Missouri, I believe. And uh, next time we see him, it'll be Dr. Follett. So I wish him the best of luck. Absolutely. So. And, and it's, it's, it's tough. Um, like this team is a wonderful young team that has an opportunity to, to do something going forward. But life kicks in. You've got, you've got you know, you've got uh, schooling. You've got, uh, you've got to find something you want Gotta to make a living your life and yeah. it's tough <laughs> yeah anyway they're young they'll they'll be back at it before you know it oh good on sam let's hope he decides to practice in newfoundland so where did you say he was going chip uh missouri yeah wow Okay, so switching gears here, Glenn. Things have changed as we thought it would. So did he call later in the he, end? Did he call to come around? I think he's. I, he might be throwing a guard now. Try to stagger the guards. Okay. He might be trying to stagger the. If you get half under that blue guard, hmm. then there's no run back. And go for his two. And go for his two. He, okay. He needs just to curl a little bit. That's uh, pretty that does, good. That does the trick, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty nice good. Nice stone. Two nice stones by Sam Follett. So now Andrew has to go, go to the back one or yeah. try to sink one in the four. But you can see this coming, and, uh, I, you know, Andrew's no fool either. He could see it coming. He knew that he was going to have this shot, Yeah, have to play this shot. <clears throat> so in turn draw, and uh, probably back to the uh, the blue stone on the back four. He dearly loved to sink it in front of the T line, but I don't know if that can yeah. be done. Yeah, but you're right. the 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 miss is so if they the back yeah. Blue. So if they can keep it towards the T line, that's what they'd rather do. Okay, that was what they'd like to do. Yeah. yeah. But the miss is freeze at the back of the four foot. Boys are working this hard. Yeah, he's got to get it there. Got to go. Got to get it there. I don't think it's there, Jeff. No, it's going to come up short. Interesting, though, when you look at it, I don't know. I don't know if the one that he just threw is raisable. I'm not blue? sure it is either. Yeah. It may not be, you know. 
so if uh, if Nathan can sneak around where and go where Andrew wanted to, now three is three on. You may be on. Yeah. Wow. Man, it just keeps changing, doesn't it? Yeah. Interesting. Well, we kind of figured that's the way it was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I, do, I, I really don't know if that. It's hard to tell. Blue on to blue on to yellow is, is there. Yeah. It's well, certainly if he can make this rock finish close to the button, either way, if he runs it back, he's not going to stick it. It'll be a row. He'll roll it in the open. So, uh, and the challenge here now is Nathan has to go a little wider, you know, out well out into the 12 foot circles. So we'll see what the ice is like out there. And, might present a bit of a surprise. We'll see. I ex usually you get this late in the game, the ice is better out there than it is. Yeah. And it certainly looks like it here. It's sliding. Yeah, it's sort of tracking there. It's Glenn. sliding pretty it good. never got yeah. the curl that the uh, first and ones did. The pebble is better out there late in the yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah, it just oh, went a little longer. that's not what he wanted. No. Yeah. That might let Andrew... More than off the hook. Andrew might be able to get in. In off that, it's again, it's difficult to see. Maybe edge on edge again, is it? I don't know. Yeah. I think I think it's it's wide open for him. He should be able to get that and get the roll with, with quiet weight, Glenn. I'm pretty sure of that. But they're talking about it, so it's hard to it's hard. They're talking a bit more than I would have thought. If the roll is there, oh, well, they've called a timeout. I just took a scoot over. That's that rock is wide open, with maybe two inches to spare. So, okay, so there is room. There is room, yeah, with a properly thrown stone to hit the yellow and roll, roll into the forefoot. Uh, it's it's crucial, so, though, because uh, if you don't make it, it's a draw for two or a tap for two, or and that could be the game. Yeah, so I guess it's the discussion whether they play hit or do they try the draw. What, I what do you think, think it back rings. Yeah, just just chap and roll, as they would say. You could almost. Wick and roll freeze your own, and you force them to one at the at, at worst. Or you could draw. Yeah. Now we saw we saw with the draw going wider, the it, rock didn't didn't react finish the same. Yeah. yeah. You think you need an and a foot extra uh, space ice, but really with the outer edges of the rings. Yeah, and this late in the, the game, the extra you need is really only maybe six inches. Right, right, right on. And then, then the stone reacts. So he does have uh, six, eight inches less ice than than Young took, which tells me he's thrown it a little bit. I think he's thrown back ring. Just try to chap and roll, wick and roll, whatever you want yeah. to call it. I think if he can roll in even a half a stone, it might be a force to one. It's a real cat and mouse for the last two hours. Boys are on it. They don't like the line. Now this is really curling hard. Is he around? He's by. Is he by too is much? Is he around? You get by? Yes, oh, he did. Great shot. Great shot. Very nice stone. Shot rock back four. All right. I guess that's a force. This just keeps going back yeah, and forth. Yeah, so this sets up the draw for one. Yeah, it's a force. Yeah. Now, here's something you could debate all night. Is he better off making this or not? That's that. That's a really good huh? question. Like, uh, you're absolutely right. Do you want to be up one 
No, he's going to he's, 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 he's going to give it to him. He's going to give it to him. He'd rather be down okay. one with as opposed to up one without. So much for debating all night. But yeah, but it's interesting <laughs> because I think I heard now maybe some viewers can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I heard that on the World Curling Tour uh the team that is up one coming home wins more often than the team that is down one with coming home. The team that's up one, up one without, without wins, wins more, more often than the team oh. down one. So that would be counter to what this is. What this he guy. just okay. did. Yeah. We would all assume the opposite, right? We'll so, see. We shall see. That is. But obviously they have talked about this because yeah. they didn't take very long to make that decision. No, not at all. Yeah. So the theory behind it, I guess for, for Nathan Young, the theory is, well, I, I, if, I'll try for two in the 10. Worst case is I get my one and we go extra end. So anyway, lots of current left and yeah. we'll be back to share it with you momentarily. Well, folks, thank you so much for staying with us for the exciting finish of this tiebreaker for the men's uh, provincial championship. And uh, boy, have we got a barn burner. So we saw Nathan Young throw the rock through, give away a point. Uh, he wanted to keep uh, last rock coming home. And his objective, Glenn, is to score two points. It is. And it's, it's, we talked about it in the, uh, when we were off, off camera there, it's, it's an interesting situation. Uh, Obviously, they have spoken about this in the past or going into this game, whereby they would prefer to be down one with Hammer coming home as opposed to up one without Hammer coming home as Andrew Simmons is. But what's interesting is if you look at the World Curling Tour, I think the, 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 the stats will tell you that the team who is up one coming home wins more often than the team who is down with coming home so we'll see it's uh but it's a preference he wants to have control in his hand and which he does yep he's got to try to manufacture either a, either a deuce or a one and a steal that's right so if he if he's if he's uh held to one point goes extra end and uh i guess he gets another chance at the, at the win yeah. so wow what a finish it is interesting And Jeff, just when like we've been talking about it, just when you think that one team has taken control, they don't. <laughs> yeah, certainly back and forth. Yeah, it's just it's it's wonderful yeah. stuff. So Simmons started this end. He the rock this year in the top eight foot. Uh, that's Alex uh, Smith's first rock, and uh, then the second guard went up. And now they're playing uh, to the back four. 
and the yellow stone that belongs to uh, Nathan Young. That's two good ones. Um, so Nathan threw up the corner guard, Glenn. I'm not sure it's ever going to get in the action. No, that's, <laughs> that's really a corner, though. It's, yeah, um, it's well over there, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's probably guarding the 12 foot on sheet four yeah. as opposed to sheet five. But but what Andrew has done so far is he shortened up the rings into the into about four and a half feet. That's right. But we've got a lot of rocks to come yet, so. So I guess they're just playing down to the blue. Yeah, it's from Nick. He doesn't look too happy with his reaction, but it looks pretty good to me. But he's got high expectations. That's a good shot. That's not bad. No, that's yeah. a good shot. Little bump. I guess he wanted to pretty well freeze it. Yeah, but that's that's yeah. that's a good shot. This is Stephen Trickett now. He's playing. Uh, he's playing on the yellow. Stephen has filled in with us a couple times this year too, Jeff. Uh, I think there's not many in the curling club that hasn't filled with us once or twice. But uh, he's a wonderful player too. Oh yeah, he really is. He well, throws he sure it showed his end, but that's a yeah. lovely stone. He's a great player. Now, of course, Nathan Young is not at all concerned about the fact there's three blues. No, not at all. No, his objective: get two points and then win the game. I guess rocks in the house are, are friends for for Team Young. And you they know, are, yeah. Because like, they can be frozen to. Or at least is one. Yeah. Then there's jam possibilities, freezes, yeah. all kinds of stuff can happen. Yeah. Well, no luck getting the roll again. A little bit, lot, uh, seemed like a little, little bit too much than weight. They, yeah. yeah, a little more weight than, than you'd like, I think. Yeah. So, a little hit and roll inward. Not too far, but uh, just to get a little bit of cover here. Yeah, half under so that yeah. you can't freeze the back blue one too, so... And this one seems to be motoring along pretty good too trying to make it curl you can see the sweeper that's pretty good yeah it's fine just snuck it past the back one now the interesting thing here is yeah do you like if you play the role you're not shot rock correct do you, do you play the back one yeah do you play the freeze now yeah, or, or or do you play the double and open up the ring so that you can make a freeze later on? It's it's. Um... I think I like the roll. I think uh, I like I the think roll. I, do too. I think I do too. Matter of fact, you can roll half under. Yep. If he wants to move it, then you op he opens up the freeze for you. Yeah. And there's room on the other turn too later on. I think, isn't mm. there? Uh, well, there's a, they, I don't know if that guard is in the way now the, for the outturn. I, yeah, I, I'm looking at it. it might be. I the think glass it, here. it might be. It's, yeah. It's really close. I got a feeling that yellow guard is. It might be. It really narrows up the path into the forefoot, doesn't it? You'd have to just. just sneak by one sneak just by to the sneak yellow. by the other one. Yeah. I think there's room there, but I think Nathan would like to just force Andrew to make something here. Yeah. As opposed to an open so hit. This is a good call. I, I guess he's playing the, the hit and roll. Yeah, and not too hard, I don't think. No. It's the ice. Sounds like this is close. The guys are on and off it. Oh, 
Oh, he did. Okay. Play. He was playing the double. Okay. Okay. And that that opens up the draw for him. Yeah. That opens up the draw for him. So that's that. I don't. I have yeah, no good result. That. Yeah. And Andrew can't ignore this one because it's shot no. rock. If I was this, Andrew, I'd try to be rolled back in there again. I was going to say, this is what makes the simplest of shots difficult Diffic because you can't roll out here. No, absolutely. This is an open hit, yes, but it got to be, you got to stick. Well, you really need to roll, as you well, said. Uh, yeah, I think if he knows point, it, the boys are going around anyway. Yeah, they, so, if you just knows that, yeah, he's going to go around. I think he'd like to roll right back where it was. Yep. And you can see their their... They know the, the, the danger here. Yeah. I'm assuming yellow is shot rock. Maybe I shouldn't assume. It's close, but that was that would be my wager. Yeah, I think so. So the outturn hit. If he can make a roll here, it really closes the ring down rings down again no well, I think I see a draw in Nathan Young's yeah. future there you go yeah there's no point in hitting that now oh absolutely no, not this, yeah it's irrelevant you gave up a point in the last end to have yeah. an opportunity for two yeah this is it this is it You know, and sometimes, as they say, you live by the sword, you die by it. Um, he's playing for a deuce, and, and good on him. Mm. Okay, strap yourself in, folks. This is going to be quite the finish. <laughs> This is huge right here, I think. This is a... Uh... Yeah, it becomes deep, then the freeze is on. Yeah. So, yeah, great opportunity here, though. It is. Well, it's what you played for, so... Very makeable shot. Trying to make a curl, I think. Yeah. See the sweepers encouraging it to curl by the way they're sweeping the, the broom. Keep going. Didn't finish, Glenn. It didn't. Uh, and I and I really think I really think it's an issue of you're the only game out there now for the last yeah. hour and a half. It's colder, the ice is yeah. straighter. That's not a not a surprise to me. But I think, you know, for most of the, tonight's game, we've seen rocks going around guards by foot. Yeah, they ha yeah I mean, that's nothing right. Nothing is close. You, yeah. you know, you're not getting close. Oh. No. So there's plenty of room. They're expecting, they're expecting yeah. what they got yesterday, and they're not getting it not in getting terms it, yeah. of curl. Yeah, and when Sam let it go, he didn't make out like, oh, I'm way outside or anything like that. No, like and Nathan was, didn't panic. He liked no. the line. Yeah. As it turns just, out, it was just too much. Now that rock is no, it's still ha edge on half edge, buried. Is it? I think it's well, half about buried? half okay. buried. Yeah, so he's still close. <laughs> so Andrew Simmons playing hit on that, albeit a lightweight. Oh, I think you'll Good see uh, Nathan draw again. Yeah, it doesn't change the approach no, here for Nathan. No. Again, this so, is... we're he's hoping for a skip stoose. Hide this one behind the guard, the guard, and hopefully he gets a chance to draw for two. Yeah, well, Glenn, look, they've seen a number of these rocks come down now. If he doesn't have, know how to get it there, it would be really nice if you can't could, go there. If you could, if you could draw on the other turn. 
um, if you could, if mm. even if you got it half buried, then the jam is still possible on the run that that, that they just threw. Mm. But I guess he likes this turn. They just he just saw Sam throw it, so he yeah. knows the line. Yeah, he should have a good idea. Boys are sweeping it. Still not close to the guard, is it? Work on it now to finish it. They want to get the maximum curl out of this, right to the top of the button. Well, that's pretty good. Very nice. Very nice. That's pretty good. He might see an inch or two inches of that stone. That's about it, I think. Our, our angle is a little bit skewed, but it looks pretty good. That's well buried. So, time out, Team Simmons. He may be forced to play a freeze here. Make a freeze and play for the extra end. Yeah, good point. I don't think there's a. I don't think there's enough there showing. You know, to warrant the hit. I, I agree with you. No, yeah, it's 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 tough to see from here, but there's a number of people looking at it. And... No, there might be enough showing that he could play back four. Wait. Nice. Ooh. So we're being told there's about an inch of that rock showing, Glenn. Oh. So. You know, even a back four foot weight, boy, you got to skinny that guard. And you got to move it. Yeah. You got to move it four and a half feet. Yeah. To make, to, to, to force them to play against two. Yeah. I like your freeze option. I think you have to freeze. Yeah. So it comes down to two shots. And that doesn't shock me the way mm -hmm. this game has been going. So if. Andrew Simmons can make this freeze perfectly. Nathan will have to try that out turn draw that we talked about. That's right. To try to win. But now win. it looks as though. But he, he'd still be able to access the button from the out turn side. I, I, I think so. Yeah. I think so. But it looks like Andrew's going to try to move it. Okay. He's got to move it. He's got to move it out of the eight foot. Well, it's on its way now anyway, so no no bringing it back. Yeah. Be a hell of a shot. Boys are working that hard. That's close. Looks really close. Whoa. Holy moly. Nice stone. Wow, what a shot. God, he made it look easy. Yeah. <clears throat> so... Draw for one, extra end. Well, that was you know, Nathan made a Nathan Young made a wonderful draw, and yeah. and Simmons made the pick look easy, and he had to get down the eight foot, which he did. It's mm -hmm. wonderful stuff. Yeah, and look, Glenn just he just, just got it out just the eight got foot. Down yeah. the eight foot. It's wonderful. Yeah. Yes, that was close to being shot rock, even with that nice stone that uh, Andrew he was Simmons close threw. To the guard, yeah. Then he was close to the one at the top of the eight foot. And he hit more than he could see. Well, this is to uh, this is to live to fight another day or another end. He needs full eight foot. Based on the sweepers, this should be good. Nice shot. Yeah, well done. So don't go away, folks. We are into extra end to determine who advances extra, extra. onward for the provincial title for Newfoundland and Labrador for 2024. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.
Well, I say welcome back, but who can turn down this finish? It's uh, extra end for the chance to move on to compete for the provincial final. And uh, fantastic 10th end. Both teams played uh, extremely well. And the extra has already started up very well as well. Uh, in addition, we've got uh, Stringer put up a real nice long guard. Alex Smith buried around, as you can see, and now Stringer is trying to put up that second guard, Glenn, and uh, we're in for quite a finish. And those are, uh, that's three, the, the, the three rocks are perfect. You wouldn't uh, take them and place them any differently. Those two guards by Ben Stringer, yeah. those are, that's hard to do. It's hard to get one just over the hog line and then one just short of the, of the rings in line. Yeah, kind of like nerves of steel, and really, at this, because imagine if that came short and you missed the free guard that you, you know, so dearly need. Which so, we, and we've seen that a couple of yeah. times this week. People have done that. And uh, so we're into it again here, Jeff. It's four perfect shots. Two dandies by Alex Smith. This is like a skins game now. Yeah. And both teams are all in. That's, yeah. that's the thing I like about this is... Uh, well, it doesn't matter about the score now. It's no, just who right. scores the point. You give up one or you give up five. Who cares? It doesn't matter. That's true. It's one end game, yeah. That's awfully so close to that second guard. Oh, he tickles it. So close. Tickled oh. it. <laughs> now, I would think, I would think, this is interesting. I would think Andrew would just go up and rip off that guard. Like, this one's not going to hurt you. The rock in the back of the ring. Interesting, yeah. Why? Why? I don't know. Well, you know. No, Waldorf. Yeah, I don't see this one, Stadler, in <laughs> well, our in our game I, plan. But I am with you on this one. <laughs> yeah, I think the guards are the are the issue. And, yeah, and it's not that rock at the back of the eight foot that's yeah. going to hurt you. If you're worried about a rock at the back of the eight yeah, foot, know. then yeah. you've got bigger problems than than we've seen. You know, yeah. this is, and, and Nathan is tickled pink that he played yeah, that. he's not too concerned about it. Yeah, Absolutely. he's playing the same thing now. He's bumping them back. I don't get that. And yeah. uh, anyway. Yeah, it's even more open now where uh, Nick sort of ticked that yeah. long guard. Yeah. And and Nathan needs guards. You know, he needs guards, and, and Andrew allowed him to, to keep those two guards. And uh, anyway, we'll see how it works out. He's got great line on this one. That's a good shot. Very nice. Now Andrew's wishing he'd ripped <coughs> off that guard. I'd still be taking the guard off. Yeah, I, I think the guy's going to have a little bit of a conference here. This is, if you don't take the guards off, you're sort of telling the opponent that I'm going to try to score one of those rocks that's in the, that's in the rings now. And it's so early in the end, that's not likely to happen. I'd be ripping off the guard. I'd have it thrown and missed. Or made. Maybe made. Although Emily is smiling, so probably missed. <laughs> Like Nath, I don't think Nathan Young has any intentions of scoring that rock. That's not his plan. His plan is to junk it up, give himself an opportunity to make something with a bunch of rocks in play. If I were Andrew Simmons, I'd be removing guards um, and give yourself an opportunity to score with your last shot. That's what you got to play for. 
Yeah, I just saw Colin Thomas uh, gesture to the boys from the other end about uh, playing the front. Yeah. Well, they changed but, their mind, though. No. Well, what do I know? Now, Nathan Young is happy to see this. Continues to give him an opportunity. So what is the call here, Glenn? Is it a guard? I think it's a guard. It's uh, maybe maybe freeze in the yellow, but I'm surprised by this, to be honest with you. So you might see Nathan play, if he can, play on that yellow one that's frozen. Or he's trying, maybe he's trying to set up a, yeah, a Chinese wall yeah. in front of it. Yeah, well, he's trying to set up a slash yeah. with it for his rock to go into. And that's why I was wondering, yeah. would you not play the yellow now if you can and ha and then eventually have a slash on both sides? Yeah, and he's, Sam is just gesturing the straight up run. I mean, I guess you can play that too because if nothing else, you'll still have the center guards if, yeah, he, yeah. if, he, if he knows it. But you'd hate to rip off the guards that are helping you. Oh yeah, no, they wouldn't want to do that. But if but if Sam did run up the blue onto the yellow, you know, the shooter stays. Yeah. You all agreed. Yeah. If you could make that. Yeah. So Andrew Andrew is Andrew Simmons is gambling all in that he's going to score one of these two blue rocks yeah. in the rings. Oof. So in the extra end, each team has one timeout. Yeah. Again, it's a minute and 30 seconds. And uh, none have been used at this point. Oh, timeout called. Here we go, timeout. And, and uh, Jeff, our vantage point from, from where we are, a little bit of an angle here, it's... It's hard to see if Nathan has access to the yellow rock that's top of the eight foot. I, I don't think he, if he does, Glenn is very little. But if you could if you could move that and move the blue to the other side of the four, then you'll have a shot on both sides. But maybe he can't. Maybe it's completely sunk. Yeah, I just took a quick trip over, Glenn, and there might be an inch of that rock oh, okay. showing. Yeah, so this ice is not reacting good enough for that. Well, maybe you freeze your own. And Andrew then will be forced to throw a guard. Then you go around. Anyway, Coach Jeff Thomas is out consulting with the team, going through all the options. I think he's trying to set up a slash like you were yeah, talking about earlier. This, yeah. You don't see this strategy uh, that Andrew is employing in this end. You don't see that often. Uh, certainly not on, in, on the tour where, where they throw the rocks around the center guards and they try to score them. It's generally about mm. get through the five rock rules, start peeling guards, and have an open hit to win. But Andrew is trying to win without throwing his last one. Okay, so out turn draw, um, probably to put him in the position of, of slashing it in. Sam Follett. Yeah, because that blue rock, that shot rock, Jeff, is in a great spot, top of the buttons. You can't, it's going to oh, be yeah. hard to draw it. Yeah, does not. You got to move it somewhere along the line. Did that tick the guard? It did. It ticked the guard. 
Okay. Well, this, Which may not be a bad no, thing. No, it's... It might not be a bad thing. Yeah. Now, it's wide open. Simmons can hit it. He, he can. Probably get her. He might be able to get inside roll. He might. Yeah, he can. But you have to. Yeah. Not a spot you want to be wide. No. Pretty thin slash, though, isn't it, Glenn? Like it that would seems be like to be an eighth of a rock, maybe, it or a quarter to, to slash that into the into the button. But if Andrew, if Andrew were to nose it, Nathan could slash the double, and all of a sudden, the one well, you got outscore now is eight foot, not top of the pin. That's right. So we're in thirds rocks. He'd like to get inside off this, guaranteed. That that would be Colin Thomas's first throw for the extra end. Now he's on the outside of it, I think. They're working it hard. Oh, he slashed it into his own. So now the forefoot's open. I think I predicted that, didn't I? Yeah, and I think what we said at the start of it that now, this is we'd interesting. be surprised if that blue rock was there at the end of the day. Yeah. Sure enough, it's not. Okay, so Nathan had a quick look at the intern. I don't I think Andrew might now be wishing he'd ripped off some guards. Well, certainly if he, if he doesn't want to win this, it'll be certainly a question he's going to have to field by. It'll be a conversation with the team. By the crowds sure. watching here tonight. This looks like it's well out there, though, Jeff. Is it finishing at all? I mean, he can bring it's this trying. deep, I guess, Glenn, can't he? Yeah. Yeah, you'd like to get make sure you're shot. Yeah. I mean, I think there's I think there's a piece under. It's a race to the button now. Yeah. So no hesitation now. And Andrew Nathan calls the draw. Ha Nathan still has that intern draw that he was looking at earlier around that staggered guard. Mm-hmm. So the rings have shrunk pretty well for. Uh, or Andrew Simmons. All right, so this is Colin Thomas's last rock for the extra end. That's well out there, too. And heavy by the looks of it. Real heavy, I think, is it? Mm. Oh, yeah. You're not going to be happy with that. No. Those, those, Colin's not going to be happy with either one of those no. two. Man has the water chains on these beans. Oh, boy. Well, Glenn, it just, it just seems to be really difficult to get this outturn to curl. You yeah. Know? Like, it's but obviously Nathan, you know, it's very sensitive in yeah, terms of speed. But Nathan has seen, you know, numerous stones here in the same spot. So he has no choice now. He, yeah, he's he, no he, choice. He, and he's, yeah. you know, he should have a fair idea, but it's certainly. Uh, you got to be very careful on the release. If you yeah, tap and, back at all, I think it's just going to track down the ice. And I think you err on the side of err on the side of caution. You don't uh, uh, th six feet short is better than mm -hmm. six inches too far. So they're calling it top four foot. Yeah, the sweepers appear to like, like to it, it, but it's uh, it's still out there a long ways. Now it's starting to finish. Starting to finish it's got a now. Lot of weight, so they can't they can't pounce on it. Too it looks much. pretty good. Looks pretty good. Very nice shot. Oh, I'm sure Andrew wished he had peeled off some guards earlier. Now. Now Andrew just indicated a timeout. Now I thought they'd already called one, but no, I think the last one was. Uh, was oh, that Nathan's. was in the tenth. Yeah, that was in the tenth. Nathan, Nathan called yeah. one in this end. Nathan Young. All right. So down to Andrew Simmons' first rock of the end. Yeah. I hate to keep saying it, but I'm going to keep saying it. 
Um, Andrew had a chance to rip off some guards and possibly have an open hit to win, and now he's down to he's down to playing against two rocks and a four foot and one on the edge of the button, and no way to get to the button. Yeah. So it's tough. It's a bit late to peel now. Yeah, yeah, well, you would think it is, but I don't know what other alternative you have. Glenn, is there anything is there anything off of the the blue long blue guard? And, and run it back onto the yellow. Does the blue go onto the yellow on the button, do you think? It'll rub it, but at least it'll Will get it? it off the button. Yeah. That you know, but I wonder. But does he even have that? Or is it is the blue guard an inch under the long yellow one? It's really hard to tell. Well So Andrew he thinks he can see a sliver enough of that rock. He's gonna to try to rub to make rub a pass it and make at the it. Two of yeah. them. Or even pick the one off the button. Even the one off, and, yeah. And hopefully he gets a chance at uh, at a, at, a, at a draw. Yeah. And like you say, that that intern draw is available. It is. It is so. Yeah. Tough shot. You got to really curl around the, the yellow rock on top of the eight foot, but but it is there. It's there. It's an option. But you're really um, you're in tough here now. That looks pretty wide. He ticked it. No. That's big trouble now. Ooh. I think you put it right back where it was and you win. Yeah, unless you can get that in turn draw to curl hard. I think it around the eight foot. I think plan. you need to pick after it gets past yeah. that yellow one. You gotta hope for the big the big finish. But if he can put this where he had the last one touching the button, yeah. I don't think Andrew has a shot. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't say that, but But he doesn't even have to come in, does he really? No, he doesn't he have to drop this can but he if drop? you if you can, then that even takes away the intern draw. You know, he can be full eight here. As long as he doesn't allow some kind of a weird raise. Yeah, so they, that they can somehow run the blue up. Is so the sweepers are well, it, looks pretty, it. it looks pretty good to me. Well, they certainly don't want to be heavy here. They don't oh, want he to rubbed be it. Heavy. Did he? He rubbed the that's, blue. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, unless Andrew can make a triple here. Can he not? Can he? Can he get? Can he? Is there an intern draw there? Intern draw tap or no? Intern draw tap. Yeah. Yellow on the blue. You mean? No. Intern draw tap. Just tap that rock back oh. six inches. That one. Yeah. If um, is that there? I, and our vantage point boy, is not good. That rock is going to have to finish hard to to tap that. That's where you want a little bit of salt in your yeah. pocket. Yeah. So when it gets past the yellow one, you toss a little bit of salt out there. But if you, you know, with uh, the slam ice we're used to oh, watching on t on the uh, Absolutely. You TV, get to the face of it. You could do that. All right. I don't think we've got that level of curl there. I, don't, I think he's I don't, trying to triple. Yeah, I don't know. I, this would be. Where's the, so, where well, does the first one go? The it one it goes hit. through the middle and sort of squeezes through right Just to rub, the middle. Rub, rub. Rub, rub. Yeah. Holy moly. Man, oh man, if he can make this, what a finish we'd have here tonight. Well, it's been a pretty good finish anyway, hasn't it's it? It's been. <laughs> this is, yeah. So sort of rub, rub the two yellows as it's rub, going by. Rub, rub the two yellows, yep. He got it. Jeez. Oh, wow. Woo. Wonderful, wonderful curling. What a game what of rocks we just game. watched. That is incredible. Who saw that coming? Unbelievable. Well, Jeff, you uh, wow. you, you saw that shot. It was more than a rub rub. It was pound pound, but <laughs> yeah, so then he got my, it too. That's oh, a, that's my folks. Great what curling. a win for uh, Team Simmons.
So Ex- that sets up exciting stuff. That sub- sets up the semifinal tomorrow against uh, Ryan McNeil Lambsworth. Yeah, it does. And that's at nine o'clock. I think it's nine. And at the same time, we'll have Bolden versus Curtis in a um, I'll call it a tiebreaker or semifinal, if you will, uh, for the ladies. And the winner of that then plays Godsland in the final. So and, and the winner of the men's plays Greg Smith. Greg Smith in the final. So, boy, I tell you what, Glenn, if we could have game, a oh couple more God. games like that. Now you know why my hair is this color. Anyway, this is crazy. So, Wonderful. folks, thanks so much for joining us. We've had a blast here tonight. So, on behalf of Glenn, Goss, and uh, and Emmy, M, M, Emily Neri, we call her M. We call M, her M. Yeah. Really, thanks so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you all tomorrow for some exciting curling. Bye from